Hello and welcome to Hearth and Hammer. We are a family-friendly D&D show and we are so thankful for you being here tonight. Um, it is the week of Christmas and this is our holiday one shot and we are super excited to be doing a one shot that uh, was discovered on the D&D discuss discussions uh, podcast. So uh, if you have not heard of them, go check them out. Give them a follow. It's at DN discussions. So it looks like D and D discussions. Okay. Uh, give them a follow on Twitter. Also go check out their podcast anywhere you find your podcasts um, and give them a listen because they are fantastic. They have DM tips. They have um, uh, like monster fixers. One of their, their things that's uh, it's pretty awesome. They talk about monsters and, and how they can make them better and more interesting. It's pretty cool. Um, and they're just uh, a couple of, of awesome hosts. Um, so go check them out and give them uh, a follow. So anyway, but they post, they put out a holiday one shot, uh, in their last episode and said, Hey, we, you know, love to hear about it. If you guys wanted to run this, this is our idea. And they kind of came up with it on the spot. So we're going to run that and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, my players have no idea, so that's even more fun. Um, <laughs> all I told them was that they are playing, um, they are playing as, as children or teenagers. So, um, so yeah, it's going to be good. Also, if you missed any of our, our episodes of our normal campaign, please go check it out. Uh, you can check it out, um, on YouTube which we have a link somewhere below. Um, you can check it out on uh, in podcast form as well. You can go back and binge watch. I'm a little behind on getting caught up, but I'm working on it. Uh, and about to have Christmas break, so that's when a lot of it's going to get done. So be looking for that. Also, we are excited to continue using the amazing royalty-free music and sound effects by Monument Studios. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, MonumentStudios.net. They are amazing. You should check them out. Completely royalty-free, and they have the best uh, music and sound effects for your tabletop RPG. Sci-fi, fantasy, it doesn't matter. They've got it all. And they just released a brand new, um, huge release of content uh, with full orchestra, like, you know, legit, fully uh, artist um, produced sound effects. Oh, so good. Uh, be sure to check them out, monumentstudios.net. And if you don't already have one, they have an amazing soundboard uh, with all of their stuff on it built in. It's, it's incredible. So check them out. Uh, real quick, guys. Are you excited for Christmas? Oh, you're one of those people. Maybe you should be the antagonist of tonight's episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, we thankfully we don't have to go anywhere this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but you know that also means that I have to do a lot of extra cleaning and stuff like that. So, uh, also if you're watching the stream, uh, there are our regular regular characters <laughs> scrolling by. That's not who we're playing tonight. Um, but uh, I don't. I don't have. We don't have. Uh, in minis made for tonight so but that's okay you can enjoy you can enjoy it it'll be a mini advertisement to come watch our normal campaign uh which our normal campaign 
if you don't know, left on a nice little cliffhanger. Um, you guys met a dragon? It's pretty awesome. First dragon you guys have met. Giant sapphire dragon. It's a big difference. <coughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's true. Um, but yeah, all right, and we are expecting Colin to join us here in just a little bit. We will see at what point he joins us, but it's okay. I've kind of made some plans for him joining us in the middle of the adventure. So, all right. Well, with that. Oh, hold on. Also, one second. Uh, we are going to have a fun little contest. A little giveaway. Okay. A giveaway. Yes, absolutely. Um, I don't have all the details worked out, but I do have the prize worked out. Um, and it's going to be pretty fantastic. Um, let's see if I can pull a picture up here. Yes, yeah, surprise. Um, <laughs> you guys might get a copy of it anyway, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see. Where is it at? Where is it at? I have to find the picture. I thought I had it ready. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not a bad idea, but no. <coughs> ha hashtag not sponsored yet. Uh-huh. What is that? Is it really? That's fantastic. That's awesome. I'm already I'm already there for you. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's see. Easy easy way to show it off here. Yeah, I just gotta, I just gotta get it here. <laughs> yeah, false, false news. All right, here we go. There's no sound from anyone? Uh, it shows there's sound. Okay. I was like, ah. Uh. But hey, look. Ta-da. Um... Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're right. I'm not hearing you guys. I mean, I can hear you guys. But for whatever reason, desktop audio is not coming through. Well, we got to fix that real fast. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Thank you for sh thank you for showing that to us, Ryan. All that talk. <clears throat> Why is it not pulling in though? That's the question. Um, let's see. Yeah, no doubt. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you can hear me. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's not it's not showing it's not showing the players. Well, while I am f trying to fix the audio, um, 
This is Skrit. He is a um, he is a kobold, and he is um, has a special place in the the hearts of the party. So, uh, but we cr we created uh, he don't he can't fool you there. So, all right, here we go. Let's see. Let me see what's going on. Seriously. Okay. How about now? Anything? I'm actually getting... Oh, we there account. we go. Now we got it. I don't know what happened. Right. Something reset. But I think, Ryan, and and yeah. folks in the chat, you should be able to hear everyone now. Yeah. I think I heard. Let us know if I you guys can hear us. Hello, hello. Yes. There they are. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Sweet. Everyone else is having a good time. Thank Indeed. you for <laughs> noticing. Um, <laughs> always. Always. Yes, always, always. And if you see the dog in the corner, that's uh, the placeholder until our fourth person comes. Oh, that wasn't Colin? Uh, it might be. I Actually, no. Sword. It's, <laughs> it's this dog over here. <laughs> Not to be confused with that dog right there. So... All right. Well, hey, now that we have everyone's audio, real quick, are you ready for Christmas? Because no one heard your answer. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready for it to be over with. <laughs> exactly. Um, yes, yes. All right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. And yes, Skrit here is the uh, Kabul that was rescued in our first intro adventure <laughs> by the party. Uh, he was not meant to be saved, but he was, and has. He since was saved become, by all of the party except. He was one. saved by all of the party. Mm -hmm. uh, Some people were are party. worth saving. Um, um, Theridan wasn't one of them, but <laughs> Strait was. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, but yes, now he is um, a friend of the party, um, and has has provided much content. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to do a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to 3D print and paint this guy, and we're going to send him out. He is a blue, maybe sapphire, uh, kobold. Can't really tell. It's kind of coppery and kind of blue. So, uh, but yes, he does. He was a former servant of the sapphire dragon that was just revealed to the party. So that's exciting. All right, well, let's move on to tonight's adventure. Dun, so dun, yes. dun, dun. Pull up a chair and join us by the hearth as we forge a new adventure. Here we go. So, on this special holiday edition of Hearth and Hammer, we begin by viewing a snow-covered town. Its twinkling lights are, are lit throughout as it's, um, you know, late afternoon. Uh, the sun's low, but not completely shut. Uh, you see the uh, the light uh, of the the setting sun twinkling over the um, snow covered rooftops, and um, it's a a beautiful, quiet town. We see the camera move past the town to the edge of town, where there sits uh, a nice. Uh, uh, manor house, if you will. Uh, though this manor shows its f uh, former splendor, uh, it is a little worn around the edges. At the gate, uh, over what looks to be uh, the previous 
family crest, there is a, a temporary sign affixed that says Philandral Orphanage. As we move past the gate and the sign, we see a sprawling lawn covered in snow with trees and bushes spread throughout. And it's here that we discover our party. First, please introduce yourselves. Dr. Heels, who is your character? Uh, I'm playing uh, a, a, a barbarian boy named Sue. Um, Sue Cash. I'm a half orc barbarian. Perfect. Never met my real daddy, but he left me with this name. Boy named Sue. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And um, Noah, why don't you go ahead and introduce your character? So my character is uh, also a barbarian, brother of Sue. His name is Big Mike. He's a forest gnome. Okay. So clearly a your blood brothers, right? Of course. Absolutely. A, a gnome and a half orc. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Um, no one better say different. That's right. Um, <laughs> all right. And Reborn, who is your character? I am a little Reginald Rockbreaker. I go by Reggie, a little redheaded, fiery tempered mountain dwarf. Uh, my family was was murdered in a uh, an orc raid, and uh, I was left all alone, and I find myself here. But half, orcs. half orcs are okay, though. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Second Absolutely. cousin's twice removed. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he doesn't look very orcish. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Uh, I have, you can I definitely have my little see, snaggle uh, tooth every time Reginald yeah. comes around. Yes. You can see and more of the gnome in him. Yes. See more of the orc. gnome in him? That's right. There's more gnome. Yeah. <laughs> he is just half orc. We don't know what the other half is. To yeah. be honest. The other half could right. be gnome. I don't it's true. know. That, I, I can't even imagine it at the moment. <laughs> but I, I want to. I want to see it. His dad's a gnome, his mom's an orc. <laughs> hey, stranger things have happened, right? That's true. All right. Uh, so, the three of you, along with other children from the orphanage, are out on the lawn. And you're bundled up in your winter wear. And uh, you are currently, the camera zooms over to uh, you, Noah. And remind me of your character's name again. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. All right. We've got Big Mike, Sue, <coughs> and Reggie. Reggie. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we see Big Mike currently uh, huddling behind uh, a shrubbery. Okay, and Mike, you see, uh, as you peek your head out, okay, you see shoo, a snowball go rushing past your face, and you know that it's on, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Reggie, having just thrown that snowball, <laughs> you begin to pack another one. How do you pack your snowball? Oh, I, 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 I flex real strong, push it down, make sure it's it's partially ice. You know, I want it to sting a bit once I, oh, once I get course, it to him. Oh, of course, of course. Both hands just working it, just grinning and laughing hysterically as I watch this little gnome dodge the first one. Yeah, absolutely. Bright red hair coming out from <laughs> under your, your beanie cap, you know. <laughs> uh, love it, love it. Oh, Mike, you won't, you won't dodge the next one. <laughs> All right. And um, Sue, you currently have Mike in your sights with the snowball in hand. Yeah. Uh, I believe it. I believe that you have the chance to, to hit him. So why don't you roll for an attack? Okay. 
So this is going to be a, a dexterity modifier. Okay. Uh, plus two. Oh, Lord. Uh, so uh, <laughs> 16. Okay. It's, well, actually, I'm going to use Uncanny Dodge. It's uh, my high level <laughs> monk ability <laughs> that makes it so all my other <laughs> characters. <laughs> all my other characters. All kidding. your characters get it. <laughs> uh, it makes sense. <laughs> <clears throat> Mon monks get that at the second level, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, okay, so uh, you wind up and you swing, and, and how do you how do you hit him with with that? What's it look yeah, like? Yeah, so seeing him just dodge the first one, I just I rear back and sling it like right where I think he's moving to, and then he just kind of jumps right into it. Awesome, awesome. Um, so you're you're huddled down pretty low to the ground. Um, so where do you where do you take it, Mike? Um, I'm going to just kind of throw my shoulder in front of it, kind of take it on my shoulder. Okay. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. And you, and you, uh, you know, you, it's, you're, you're a, you know, a rather large gnome, but, uh, <laughs> small nonetheless. So this snowball out of your, your half work brother is, uh, probably as big as your head. And, uh, <laughs> Roll a dexterity save to make sure it doesn't knock you over. <laughs> that is a 22. Okay, yeah. Easy enough. It just... Poof, he didn't pack it with ice or anything. You know, so, um, Perfect. Was so you begin to pack it Sorry, that yourself. is a 20, not a 22. I, That's still plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you pull... Uh, as you're you're taking the hit, you're you're pulling together your snowball and you're throwing it. Who are you throwing it at? Um, I would like to do an investigation check to see if I could find a rock under the snow. <laughs> okay. Oh well, give me an investigation check. You better then. be throwing that at your brother. <laughs> that is a strong eighteen, actually. All right. Natural seventeen plus sure one. Sure enough, you find a nice little pebble. Uh, you know, you're digging around one of the bushes. You know, they have those <clears> nice. <throat> those nice um, stone, you know, like pebble beds around the bushes. Mm -hmm. So you know where to find them. So yeah, it's nice so and I'm smooth, pack packs around nice and neat. Yeah, pack the snow around it and I throw it at my brother. Perfect, all right, roll for an attack. So it's dexterity plus nothing dexterity or just- Dexterity plus two. Okay, so that's a 16 also, 12 plus four. Okay. Yeah, that hits. All right, so you uh, you throw your snowball, um, Sue, and you're laughing, you know, as it just explodes yeah. because it's it's almost the size of, of your brother, and and uh, you <laughs> lose sight of him for a second. And as you're laughing, snowball comes right out of the the mist around him, right towards you and, and hits you, um, and you take a, a nice crack on on the face, right there on your cheek, mm -hmm. and you feel the sting of the of the rock. Knowing, knowing it was expertly packed by your brother. I'm I'm pretty dense, so uh, yeah. Uh, you know, oh. I mean, it's, it doesn't. Yeah, it was yeah. a good one. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, don't throw and... the brown snow. <laughs> brown. Brown snow. All right, and Reggie. Half forks uh, are built you've, different. You've got your snowball packed. Who do you who do you lob it at? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take aim, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pelt as, as I see this little gnome throw the one back at his brother. I'm gonna take that moment that he's like off balance, throwing one, and I'm gonna try to peg him in the side of the head. Okay, roll your attack. Oh, that's good. That is a twenty-two. All right, that's yes, you hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled an 18. So. Noah's like, Noah, Noah's like, can I get it? Can I, can I catch it and throw it back? <laughs> I have this monk ability. Oh, is it a projectile? Oh, it's, it's I a can projectile, catch. Right? I am a barbarian, yes. but I was a monk at one point. <laughs> um, Once a right. monk, always a monk. Okay. This is after I just pack this thing down. It's nice and solid, and I just all catch right. him. So the, once again, in the middle of uh, throwing. Mike, big Mike, go ahead and roll me a dexterity check to make sure, or a dexterity <laughs> save to make sure you don't get. Knocked over. Exact same. Dude, I'm rolling great. <laughs> All right. So, hey. That's a uh, 20. You keep your balance and you take well. it. And the name of Big Mike stands strong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mike. 
<laughs> so the the camera pans over uh, the scene, and and there's an, another half dozen children out there with you guys, and it's just a perfect day for a snowball fight. Uh, you know, you've got got a breeze coming through, and there's there's you know a strong gust of wind every once in a while, but it, it it's good. The sun's slowly setting. It, it it's been a great day out in the snow, and as you um, as you all are kind of finishing up, uh, you hear uh, kind of the the jingle of, of bells coming down the road uh, from the gate. Uh, you see the gate swing open, and uh, a familiar scene greets you. A sleigh uh, pulled by a uh, brown, brown mare horse uh, trots into the yard, and everyone sees the person driving the sleigh and uh, lo and behold it's it's the the people who run this orphanage it's a a couple bundled up in you know winter wear and and they have uh, provisions in the back and uh, you all see them and and begin to greet them as some of the older children uh, you know it's your responsibility to go help them unload so what do you do? Do you run over and try to help? Ah, of course I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna good. run over there and on my way try to trip my brother. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's see. Give me a dexterity saving throw, Sue. <laughs> Better than I expected, actually. Uh, it'll be a 17. Can I, do I get a roll or is it just his? Uh, no, I'm, it's just gonna okay. be a it's just gonna be a save. So uh, he's able to he's able to uh, definitely uh, jump over your trip. Yep. Um, which which what does it look like for you to trip your brother, being so much larger than him? Uh, I'm gonna just literally just try to run it like under his legs. <laughs> just full like, body. Just try trip. to get under his legs. Yeah. Nice, nice. I like it. I should, I should have pushed him. And, at the same and I, time I just give a little, just a little advantage. hop over. <laughs> yeah. almost like I'm used to this. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Big Mike's antics. Crazy Big Mike. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, you uh, approach the sled, and and you see, uh, you see Philandro, who is the keeper of of the orphanage here, and his wife uh, Philomena, and she, she sees you coming and says, "Oh, hello, boys." So glad of you t to come over and help us uh, get the get the supplies in the back there, and and uh, we hope that you will um, got some special things for our, our holiday feast coming up, and uh, so we know that you're going to be excited for that, and um, we had some uh, had like some food. presents sent along. It looks like it's going to be a, a, a cheery cheery Christmas after all. Presents, you say? Well, I'll yes. Be. There's someone sent along presents for all the children in the orphanage. I, I try to peek and see if any of them have, you know, anything that would, would closer resemble that it would be, you know, for me, even though I know there's nothing specific <laughs> for them. So you uh, give me a give me an investigation check. Uh, investigation. That is a flat 16. OK. Uh, so you're able to, to peek in, you see the provisions, and you, you get a glimpse of the, the presents there. And they're in some, uh, looks like some, some nice uh, crisp brown paper uh, with some very colorful ribbons wrapped around them. Uh, you see, you know, some with like the, the red and white ribbons, you see some green ribbons, some blue ribbons, uh, but they're all like different oddly shaped packages. None of them super large, but... You know, all, all, you know, a good, a, a good size. And you, your head immediately fills with the fun things that you think uh, maybe you, you could get. What, what could it be? So, you, you all start to unload the supplies. Um, everybody give me a strength check. Yeah, all of This is the, we all rolled characters yeah. that this works perfect. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, 
19. This is. Can I rage? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, did right, you nope. guys fail this? Yes. And then I rolled a five. <laughs> Reggie's so excited. I use a reckless attack. Reggie's so excited by seeing the presence, he just grabs be a extra. Six. I got a, I got a nineteen. <laughs> okay, so I am unable to reach the presence. I'm just jumping at the back of the sleigh. It's true. So you you begin to climb <clears throat> up into the back. I'm dense. And you, I tried to carry the whole sleigh. Uh, Big Mike <laughs> starts to uh, try to unload a big bag of the presence, and he's standing on the edge <clears throat> of the cart, and he he begins to try to get it off the edge. And he doesn't quite make it, and, and like the presence and him just go tumbling out of the cart into the snow on the side. So, um, and <laughs> Sue is, is trying to gather them and try to help catch him all as well. And, and he kind of squeezes the bag extra hard trying to catch his brother. And, and so the presents spill out and they all kind of go everywhere, you know. Oh, no. Meanwhile, um, <laughs> Reggie on the other side has gathered up a, uh, not only a bundle of, of presents, but also some of the supplies there, and he's starting to trudge towards the house. That means the biggest one's on, mine! On our way, Reggie! That means the biggest on one's mine! F- Philandrel kind of turns and chuckles. Oh, oh, oh. oh boys. Biggest help, one's help for the biggest hurry, one. pick them up so they don't get too wet. Let's take them inside. So... Uh, he begins to walk the gifts. Uh, he has supplies in his hands, and, and Philomena as well is carrying those in. Uh, so they they all they kind of get ahead of you guys, and so the three of you are kind of now moving with the the gifts and and such inside. And as you get closer to the door, um, roll perception for me. Yes, that'd be me, right? Oh. oh, yeah. That's great. I got a nine. I got a right. six. Uh, also, also got I'm a nine. I'm proficient with it, too. <laughs> I, I am proficient too. as well. It's the only way I got Amazing. a Amazing. <laughs> but I have no I wisdom. So perceptive. That's how I, I got, got a no nine. Wisdom. I have a yeah. plus two. Right. Nice. I have a plus yeah. three. So, so you, oh, you, you guys are just so excited for these gifts. You, man, you can't wait to, to see which ones you get. But... You know, also you're excited to see the looks of joy on the faces of of your uh, siblings here in the orphanage that, uh, uh, you know, just uh, all all of them that, that you know, have come this year. You guys have been there a couple years, and, and it's been pretty scarce the last few years. There there hasn't been money or, or the goodwill for gifts in, in several years. Um, and in fact, none that you've ever remembered. Um, so this is a particularly exciting year. So, uh, you, you gather them up and you're going in and, uh, man, can't, it's, it's hard to believe, but I mean, you can already smell just like the, the hearth and the fire inside as you're, as you're, um, approaching the door. And as you, as you go in, who goes in first? I was probably in the lead just of us three, just cause I had already got my stuff mm-hmm. together in one shot. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to get in so I can get the biggest present. Of the sure, bank. sure. Um, as you as you get close to the door and um, you know cross the threshold, um, something immediately changes. The bag of gifts that you have under one arm uh, immediately just kind of like it gets it gets hot, and then it starts changing shape and tendrils of, of smoke and ash come out of the the bag. I don't want the biggest one. I don't want the biggest one. I throw it away. You throw it down? Yeah. Okay. So you throw it down and um, and a- as you are all kind of entering in, um, you notice, you see now this, this bag kind of falls to the ground and it, it, it flattens in a way that you it shouldn't flatten. There's there's packages in there. You don't know what happened, um, and, and you see that it's it's nothing's burning, uh, but there's ash and smoke coming out of the bag. Um, and you guys, you guys, as you each cross the threshold, Do we see it. Uh, okay. You your packages your packages do the same. Oh, uh, so I, I would. 
Drop them out and we can try to stomp on them. Like to, like to put, put them out. out. Okay. Yeah. And I roll an investigation check on it. Okay. Go ahead and give us a roll. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> no. <laughs> I I just start <laughs> follow my brother's lead. So we you... are the smartest <laughs> bunch of people. Ever. <laughs> so you kind of like pull open, pull it open a little bit, uh, being closer to the ground, and you and you see um, this kind of just ash. Uh, coming out of it um, and some of the ash looks like little burned pieces of of ribbon colored ribbon um, and it's you can kind of see the colors almost fading from the ribbon as the ash kind of floats away um, and, uh, and Phil <laughs> I mean Phil there's something wrong with these presents continue to stop I just I think Sue messed these up. Sue messed the presents up. I, I don't think I did. 100% it was Sue. I watched him do it. Phil, I watched Phil, him do it. Uh, Phil, Phil Andrel and Philomena uh, are emerging from the kitchen, ha- having taken supplies in there. And they turn and they, they see what's happening. And they, they're like, oh my, oh my goodness. What what happened to the gifts? It, it was it was Sue. It, they... It, it was Sue, hundred percent. It was Sue. He said if he couldn't have the biggest. Don't listen, one, Reggie. No I'm gonna, I'm baby. gonna try. I'm gonna look at uh, Reggie, fire. and I'm gonna say, "Shut up!" and try to intimidate him. See, the, his <laughs> okay. brothers getting in on it. They, they, they didn't want anybody else that present. Um, All right. They. So you're gonna roll. I got a fourteen. With, fourteen right, on my intimidation. It. All right, Reggie, ro- roll a. What is that? Wisdom. Oh right, no! Hold on. Charisma, wisdom, or charisma. Let's see. Let's Either see. one is a zero. It doesn't matter. Okay, we'll just I feel roll. Like we all have the same builds here. I I got a four. Okay, <laughs> so he he, you see this look from, uh, <laughs> from Big Mike, and and kind of gives you pause for a second. <laughs> so, um, at that time, uh, a familiar figure enters the entryway. For it. It's a Wait dog. For it. It's a dog. It's a please stand by. It's a, it's a, it's a train. Please stand by. It's a plane. No. Well, the real Colin Kelsey, please Superman. stand Superman. <laughs> there he is. I'm an idiot that doesn't know how to work OBS or my mic. There he Yay! is. Hello, gentlemen. He only went Hello. to college four years to figure it out. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, Colin. Man. Let me catch you up to speed. <clears throat> uh, you have just so so you are in a manor house. Okay, you are an orphan in this orphanage named uh, Philandrel's Orphanage. Okay, and you see three of your orphanage friends uh, m- coming in from the cold. They've been outside. Uh, having a snowball fight. You were not part of it. That's not necessarily something that you enjoy. Uh, but they're coming in, and they look like they're carrying. Uh, they look like they were carrying sacks of supplies or something. Uh, but as you come in, you see these sacks are kind of are kind of falling to the ground, and they are uh, ash is spilling out of them, and the and they are flattening like there's no no longer anything in them, and. Uh, Philandro and Philomena, his wife, who run the orphanage, are emerging from the kitchen, still bundled, uh, but having put away supplies, and they are questioning uh, the boys as to what happened to the gifts, because apparently there were gifts uh, for Christmas and for the for the orphans in these packages. Um, introduce yourself and describe your character, please. Uh, they're gonna keep bringing in packages for a second. I don't have a character yet. I literally just drove in from Texas. Uh, okay. Um, I'm 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 down I'm downgrading a character that I have to make something work. That's okay. Okay. So do you want us to do our characters uh, again for them real quick? Sure. Yeah, sure. just okay. give me a brief rundown. So so what you see are these three characters here. And uh, I'll let them introduce themselves again for you here. Since I think they were muted when they introduced themselves last time anyway. Yeah. So uh actually you, uh, you, you see me, I'm, I'm a big half-orc, uh, olive-colored skin, um, and uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a barbarian boy named Sue. I uh, never met my real daddy, uh, but he left me with this awful name. 
Um, I'm real strong, real dense. Got it. I am. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Big Mike. I'm a uh, brothers to uh, Sue. My brother. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm also barbarian. Um, pretty strong, not as dense, a little bit smarter. Uh, but I am a no. Okay. Mm-hmm. Brother with a half orc. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's got a little bit more in the work than the gnome in him, but <laughs> I think mom was there. The I'm door. literally picturing the two of you standing next to each other. Even as kids, the size difference would be comical. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think mama was the work. And and I am Reginald Rockbreaker. Everybody calls me Reggie though. I don't go by Reginald. But I am a a very stout little mountain dwarf uh with uh bright red hair little scruffy beard that i'm very very proud of it's not really a beard it's more of like a few whispery little puffs on my chin um and uh and and my parents were killed in an, in an orc raid on uh on my uh my dwarf village there and uh so yeah i'm gonna different blame orcs. everything I, i'm gonna blame everything i can on sue here yeah there's different different orcs yeah. Maybe, uh, you know what? Roll for an intelligence check with disadvantage. Me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Why does it always do this to me? I, I roll a nat 20 for the first one. Second one mm-hmm. is a nat one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, no. That's amazing. You have no yes. idea he's half orc, by the way. <laughs> Just FYI. No, that nat 20, no I would have known for sure. You'd have known. You have no idea. You'd have known in it fact, was my second. Anytime Full someone blood is, in there. fact, anytime Full someone has gnome. mentioned something to that effect, you just you just don't even get it. You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are so. you talking yep. about? He's a full blood gnome, just a little bit taller. <laughs> yep. He's a really big a gnome. He's just a really big gnome. <laughs> With dark skin. Yeah. And you know, maybe some I know. <laughs> Some really big incisors. Yes. <laughs> I I, I, I never roll I never roll that twenties unless you tell me the word disadvantage <laughs> along with it, and then I yep. will guarantee oh, a nat man. twenty in that roll. I hope that's, I roll some nat twenties. Half orcs get a little bonus for that. Uh, <laughs> that was that was beautiful, guys. I just <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> All right, so uh, so this is the scene that you see. Uh, and and no one has noticed you yet, so you're kind of standing there, uh, watching. Okay, uh, what do the rest of you do? Do is anybody investigate anything? Look inside a bag. What do you answer to? I'm, I'm trying Phil to explain Andrew. what yeah. happened to, to, okay. to Phil Andrew. Right, go ahead. I'm like, uh, um, we just uh, we walked. Uh, I, f- I found Reginald with the his bag had ash, and so I came to help, and then my bag turned to ash, and then they're all ash, and so I tried to put them out, and I don't know what happened. You, you heard that, right? You heard that Sue said that he created ash in the bags. That's where oh. he burned up all of our presents. He didn't want I to. I didn't create, no. Yours burned up first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm you, gonna, wouldn't, you wouldn't burn your own bag there, Sue. Come on. I'm going to cast. They don't, a, let me have light uh, they don't let me have matches anymore. <laughs> I'm going to cast Minor Illusion and have a torch in. Uh, Reggie Sand. <laughs> I don't think you have Apparently I can illusion. do that. I don't know why I can do it, but I can cast you, Minor do Illusion. Do you really have Minor Illusion? I think it's because I'm a gnome. Aren't, aren't you uh, a I think it's because I'm a forest gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah a forest think, gnome. Okay. I was just, I was you know like what? looking. Go for it. I was, what's I don't the, know. What's the, <laughs> what's the role or the DC? It is, he has to make a spell DC. I don't have a spell DC. He has to make an investigation check against my spell DC. <laughs> Your spell DC is what? So it's so it's like ten, probably. Well, I have plus one to most, or plus two to most things. Uh, so plus one to wisdom and plus one to, sorry, plus one to intelligence and plus one to charisma. Okay, so we'll say it's eleven. So I rolled a twelve. Okay. <sighs> so, Are you sure it's not plus my? Uh, Modifier to you. <laughs> um, uh, Sue, why don't you go ahead and roll two, just so that you <laughs> he make sure you, that see you don't it. think that you see it. Well, and, as an investigation. No, just uh, roll, okay, roll, roll, roll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know. But it doesn't. 
I'm gonna know it's an illusion, but I'm gonna keep trying to shake my hand to get rid yeah. of it because I don't uh, want to get twelve. Caught. I don't want to. Yeah, does it because because Phil's the one that needs to roll the investigation check. Phil, Phil is rolling. <laughs> he rolls a one. Watch. He has no idea. He thinks I'm losing a four. Well, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> it's not a one, but Phil says, "What? Well, where, where did you get that torch?" I, d I don't know. <laughs> I want to get okay. rid of it, though. Yeah, it's like I'm swinging it's like, it around. <laughs> you see that, and, and then now I know <sighs> it's an illusion, F right? Phil so can Philomena, I, like, try to poke? can I try to poke Sue with it? Philomena says, "Ah." She turns and looks at uh, she turns and looks at you, Big Mike, and says, "Big Mike, come now, put it out." I drop it. I drop it. <laughs> so I drop the illusion. She she's away. not fooled by it. And so it disappears, and he goes, "Oh, oi, you got me, lad. That's that was a good one." I'm a magician. <laughs> As he magician. says, "I'm a magician." Make the presents come back. Hold yeah. on, just to okay. add to the guess. As he says, "I'm a magician," he just starts levitating. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but not not like in a fun like he thinks it's gonna be fun at first and then he just kinda like hits the ceiling and stays there. Okay, so you send him all the way up. I was having yeah. original. Alright. Uh to to Reggie? <laughs> to Reggie. Or to um to Reggie yeah. or to Big Mike? I'm I'm the one that said I was a magician. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Alright. Alright, so they see this. And both, and both Philandril and uh, Philomena turn and look at you and say your name. Timmy. <laughs> what is it? Timmy. Timmy. The tiefling. Timmy oh! the tiefling. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Timmy, put him down. But he said he wanted to be a magician. I thought, you know, most good magicians can fly. So, <laughs> I mean, at least, at least Levitate look at him. He's having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Isn't that right, Big Mike? <laughs> you mean Reggie? Is, uh, yeah, Reggie. Look, <laughs> he, doesn't he look like he's having a great time, Big Mike? Reggie, you having a good time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm scared of heights. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, I'll put him down. I dispel it. He just falls. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to catch him like as he's falling. I'll just reach All out. Right, give me a dexterity to... uh, check. I fail. Me? <laughs> no, uh, your brother tried to catch you and he fails. So he reaches, you see him reach out his hands and it's about like, you know, 12 inches this way and he like falls. Yeah. <laughs> I failed miserably. Okay. Oh, Lordy. My bad. <laughs> All right. So, so you get up and, uh, Timmy, what uh, what do you do? You do anything else? Do you I'm, approach? I'm still just kind of like trying to figure out what the situation okay. is. That's that's happening. You see, they Phil came in Philomena, with bags. Philomena, yeah, they had bags and they they were full of gifts, uh -huh. and they were helping unload them from the sleigh outside. And when they brought them across the threshold, all of the gifts turned to ash. So. Uh, or not quite ash. So you look inside, and so ash came out of the bags, but what you see in there now is coal. So where there were gifts, there are now lumps of coal. Man, uh, this definitely has to be Sue. He's been the only one to get in <laughs> trouble this year. That's that's not so true at all. Philomena, Philomena is, like, pulling it out, and she's like, oh, my goodness. What happened to the gifts? This... Are you kidding this is this is this is so strange. Did y'all ever think that maybe you were supposed to just leave them where they were, and everything would have been fine? Listen, rubby hands on Timmy. Them? Listen, Timmy. She told us to bring them in. Who told you to yeah. bring them in? Philomena. I just look at her. <laughs> she says, "Well, they, we were getting we got gifts for all the all the children this year. We had some especially kind donations." Um. So we these weren't for Thank other kids. You. <laughs> Say, what was that, Timmy? So these, so these gifts weren't meant for other kids. 
Well, these were gifts meant for you, and they were meant for all the kids in the orphanage. Except Thank you. And, uh, well, Sue's going to try I'm to make the best so out of sorry. it. Like, we, we love them. We've got to figure out what, what has happened. And so she's, she's at this point, she's looking through the bag, and Philandrel is sitting there just kind of scratching his head like, what in the world? Can I can I pick up a piece of coal and throw it at at Big Mike like it was a snowball but inside? <laughs> uh, make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> oh gosh, I have plus two. Uh, oh, that's good. I got roll seventeen, so nineteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're able to uh, out from under the watchful eye of Philomena, pick up a piece <laughs> of of coal and chunk it at him. Uh, roll roll an attack. As soon as it hits the ground, it's going to catch on fire. Dirty 20. <laughs> and I'm going to like, like a kid would do, I'm going to pick it up and be like, like behind the back, be like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then just like throw it. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm pointing at it to Sue. I'm like, and I'm going to throw it at Big Mike. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, and then, uh, Timmy, do, do you light it on fire? When it hits the ground, I'm going to uh, press and digitate and it just catches on fire. Okay. Make a slide of hand check for me. Gladly. Uh, let me go back to my seat. And, I mean, uh, it's, it's going to hit Big Mike, so you probably won't light it on fire until after it hits Big Mike. Oh, he's the one to hit the and, and when I, when I see what's going on... 12. Um, 12? I, gra- okay. uh, I try to grab a handful. So, <laughs> as you... So, as you oh, go to, to, you know, cast... No. Uh, oh. Press the digitation. Um... Phil, uh, Philandrel actually, uh, who's still standing there, looks over and he, you kind of catch his eye out of the corner of it, and he kind of gives you the, I see what you're doing, boy, look. <laughs> He's, he shakes his head. So, being being a pretty short tempered tempered, temper, temper, yeah, short tempered. Uh, I'm supposed to be rolling with advantage on deck saves. Gosh dang it. Um. Anyways, raging, but being so. a I th- I don't think it's when I'm raging. It just says, "Oh yeah, uh, you have advantage okay. on deck saves as danger sense." Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I might. I, I'm, yeah. I, that's just a quick thing. I didn't read the whole thing, but um. Anyways, short tempered. I'm gonna bonus action go into rage and try to <laughs> grapple, sprint across the room okay. and grapple. Uh, <laughs> as you Reggie. Grapple Reggie. Hold on. <laughs> We we are a bunch of teenage boys. <laughs> we are, yeah. This right, is exactly. I've snatched something and threw it at another boy, and so he his intent is to wrestle me. Uh, I have a maybe I should uh, have. I'm gonna I make it my okay. So as you, um, okay, make a perception check with disadvantage. With disadvantage? Yes. Because he threw it at you. Okay, uh, 12. He's going to okay. jump on his brother. That's fine. Um, so you you, oh, you get hit with this piece of, tr- of coal, and you start to, to charge over towards him. As you do, you feel this hand on the back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> and Philandrel nice. picks you up in the air. I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> and says, come now, boys. <laughs> we we know none of you had anything to do with this, but stop stop fighting right now so we can figure out what's going on. Okay? We're just, we're just trying to make the best of we it. Tried to, yeah. We tried Did to... We tried to... succeed on grabbing handfuls of coal. <laughs> I mean... Because I was getting ready for a yeah. snowball fight. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you easily pick up handfuls of coal. I mean, like... Then you're going to get the mom Philomena, look from Phil. Yeah, Philomena is definitely giving you the look like, you better not be doing anything with that right now except <laughs> putting it back in that bag. <laughs> I, I look at her and slowly, without breaking eye contact, put it back in the bag. <laughs> that's, that's okay. <laughs> like a kid who's caught ready. Yeah. Yeah. Like... So as soon as you stop, uh, you know, squirming, you're put back down. Uh, but uh, Philandro says, "Boys, now listen. You're the oldest here at the orphanage, and I know we've never not had many chances for gifts, and very, very few times has it been." Uh, if if ever for Christmas where we can afford to get gifts for all of the children. So this is mighty upsetting to Philomena and myself. So 
if you can, try not to make too big of a deal out of it for the other kids. We need to try to figure out what happened. And frankly, I'm I'm a little stumped right now. Should we I know stack all this coal up next to the fireplace? <sighs> you see him. You see him visibly droop his shoulders. And he says, "Well, at least do that. At least it's not a total waste, and yeah. it'll fuel the fires a bit longer this this uh, this week." So the kids do like being warm. I want to pick up a bag and I want to just walk outside the door and see if anything happens. Okay. Uh, roll an investigation check. 14. Okay. You walk back outside the door and it remains coal. So Maybe with all this coal we can keep it burning a little. It'll be warmer and I won't have to snuggle with Big Mike's feet. Ugh. Um, so with that, Philandrel and Philomena... <coughs> Uh, they adjourn to the kitchen. Um, and before going back, Philandrel says, boys, if any of your masters uh, would have any thoughts on this, it would be much appreciated if you could ask them tomorrow. Um, sure. We'll they're, they're much more knowledgeable in, in the ways of such, such things. And I don't know what kind, of, what kind of dark magic this could be, but... It's, it's a little disturbing. So, I mean, what, I'd like to I'd like to figure it out. Dispel magic on like the doorway or anything. You, are you asking Philandrel? Yeah. Uh, Philandrel. Dang sure ain't asking the three of us. Philandrel looks yeah. at him and says, um, oh, <laughs> "No, to me, you know, we don't have any kind of magical abilities. It's all we can do to to run the orphanage here for you all, you children." If you want to cast it, be my guest. And if you want to, to search, well, I can't do if you it find either. anything, let, let us know. Just figure the adults will be able to do something. Well, uh, they got us presents. So as Timmy. so as you so Timmy, yeah. What um, what class are you? I'm a sorcerer. Okay, oh. perfect. So as a what sorcerer, a you have an innate what magical is. ability, but you've also, uh, along with the orphanage. You have been um, granted admittance uh, into the local wizarding school. Kind of a magic school. It's mm. not, not a big school. It's not anything fancy, but uh, there are some magic users there, and they're, they're attempting to, to teach you. Um, obviously, as a sorcerer, you kind of have this innate ability. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, so Philandro says... Uh, if if you know of any way to check for something safely, go ahead. Uh, otherwise, we may check with your masters in the morning. Um, I, but beyond me, I'm stumped. Nothing has changed in this house the the years that I've been here, so I'm not quite sure what uh, what could have done that. So with that, he turns and goes to the kitchen and and uh, starts. You hear he and Philomena starting to cook dinner for the night since it's uh, end of the beginning of the evening. I mean, one of the dinner first smells things, great. One of the first yeah, things they teach us in school if you don't know is just to do an arcana check so I was going to do that. Oh, Mr. Pulls. Fancy Dancy Magic. He pulls oh, out yes. dice. Rolls yeah, them. That was, that was, <laughs> hold on. That's her plan. I'm That's guessing cool. the yeah. other three of us okay, the cool. That's even worse. same little uh, school because we're all like just martial guys. Yeah. <laughs> you got to win. We probably pick on Timmy because you know, he goes you don't to the really wizard sense school. Anything. Um, Timmy, uh, what's the call saying to you, man? Hey. I'm not asking the hey. call. <clears throat> Timmy. I'm looking at the doorway. Timmy. That no. if you hit it with a sword, it yeah. would work. No, why don't you, you hit it with it. a sword? The ones I'm gonna, the I'm gonna cast ma into, uh, coal. minor illusion on the door. Timmy, <laughs> does the door, s does it have anything written on it? And it's gonna say, Timmy He's a is nerd. a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you check? I bet you can't even read. Uh, 
plus one intelligence. Okay, so, so I can read quick, like real quick a lot. <laughs> make an intelligence uh, check with my oh. plus one. Yeah. Do it. Who? Please oh. roll a nat <laughs> one. No. Oh yeah, it's totally misspelled. <laughs> 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 Looks like a child pinned it. This is Timmy it's is like, a turd instead. No, no. It's like it's like Timmy is a is a is a nered. It's like an R E D. It's like he doesn't even make sense. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wait, it was a seven. I'm gonna it's a nat one though. It's still, it's a nat it's one. Still, it's still, <laughs> yeah. it's still I mean seven. mine was at least an eight, so <clears throat> Okay. It says Timmy is a nered. Idiot. Jeez, what a loser can't even read. <laughs> yeah, why don't you learn to spell. read? Can't even spell right. That dummy. fancy school um, is just really at that, at that, as as you're doing this, Philomena comes back out and she sees what is going on. She says, Boys, now get along. The four of you are the oldest, and I need you to set a good example for the rest of the children. It was Timmy. He was using his magic yes, to write things on the door. Reggie. Reginald. Yeah, because I would definitely write Don't Timmy is in my red name. And spell it wrong. <laughs> Don't give me a reason to. It's Reggie. I'll call you Reggie when you act like Reggie. Yeah, Reginald. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. With that, you go about the rest of the evening. Dinner is served shortly, and and you all. Um, find yourselves uh with uh kind of in in like a study at the end of the evening um it's a a modest library uh all of you roll a history check my strong suit 15 a 10 9 (laughs) 5 nice (laughs) so i'm just reading like crazy Timmy hasn't been here quite as long as the rest of you, um, but uh, but has come more recently. Um, you said fifteen. Yes. Okay. So you recall that before this was an orphanage, uh, it was a manor owned by a family, and you know that the lord of this manor, or or whatnot. Um, he had, he had stocked this library with books. Um, you don't quite recall what happened to him, uh, but you know that it was shortly before you came that this, uh, that he disappeared, and that this was turned into an orphanage. And um, you and your brother were actually uh, some of the first orphans to be admitted into the orphanage. So, you find yourselves in this study. Uh, what do you guys do? Is there a book I can throw at Big Mike? Uh, there, there are books in here, for sure. Can I just um, pick up a book and like toss it at Big Mike? Are you trying to toss it to him like... Um, no, like I'm trying to hit him, to just hit, like I have with it. To hit it no, to him? Just, yeah, no, I'm just okay. trying to hit him with it, like I have with Roll everything else. a wisdom save. Uh, that's put zero fourteen. Okay. Um, you know that if you throw these books, there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> uh, I pick quite it up bring and yourself think to about it. it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. just set it back down. Yeah. That was a high one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The disobedience DC is high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think like my actual fourteen-year-old male child would think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. I'm trying to think how me, almost a 14-year-old male, just kidding. I would walk up, though, and I would punch Timmy for his calling me Reginald earlier. Like punch him, punch him, or just hit him just in like, the shoulder kind of thing? Just like, you know, just like pop him in the back of the shoulder. No. Yeah. Stupid idiot. Keep remember, reading. remember the name is Reggie. Sure, Veggie. Get out of here. Go find some kids' books to go read. 
Oh, as soon as, soon as they're not around. It says, as I look up, I'm going to pull the biggest book. wedgie up on you. <laughs> you're you're reading. I try to like, put book. like a big book in front of it. <laughs> big book in front of it. <laughs> Probably upside roll, down. But... Roll a slide of hands. <laughs> Probably upside down. Oh, I good. It was 19. Okay. Yeah. You, you're totally, totally hiding it from them. <laughs> All right. You, you do know that book is upside down, Sue. Uh, so it's. I like oh, no. to read his, upside his, down. His wasn't upside down. It, he he got it up, right side up. Uh, so as you're there, Philomena comes in and and she's straightening up after putting some of the younger kids to bed. And she sees you guys kind of giving each other a hard time. And she's like, "Now, boys, I know Philandrel would not want me to suggest this, but." I need you all to stay out of trouble. And that usually means that I give you some tasks to do. So, why don't you look through these books and see if you can find anything that might give us a clue as to why this house didn't let the presents in. I, for a second there, I thought you were going to tell me that Phil wouldn't be okay with you telling me to, like, keep calm and not not get in trouble but he's always yelling at me for that so i knew there was something else yeah going no, on. no 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 so so it's it's philomena and she's yeah. saying she's saying that um she's saying that she's giving you something to do because in order to keep you busy and and not uh fighting amongst yourselves in here um yeah to, that's what, that, that's what something. i was telling so, that's what i was telling her i was yeah. telling her but i thought she was going to tell me not to get in trouble. Oh, okay, I was like, yeah, but that's that. what Phil always tells me to do. It's not get in trouble. Well, of course he I, does. I would I'm, like to grab the nearest book and just start rage reading. I'm going to rage, rage reading. reading. <laughs> How is that even possible? Rage I like reading. A, yeah. I look over my like two books and I'm like, yes, my um, Phil, Phil, Philina. And I reach over to just something random. And I'm going to go over and try to start also reading the book that, that Sue is reading. And obviously he's not going to let me see that it's a, it's a little kid's it's book. a private book. Can you read it Can when I'm just, done? I just, I'll read one page. You read the other. No, I'll read both pages. Neither of us read very fast. And I don't want I stupid Timmy fast. over there. I don't want stupid Timmy over there making fun of us because we didn't see a book as well as he did. Philomena. Yeah, evidently, I have a Philomena's. Group, which is what I want. <laughs> what's your, yeah, what's your intelligence? Philomena story? gives you. Philomena oh, gives you. wow, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, hey, Sue, how about we work together? Reggie's trying to get close to me again. She goes kind of to the other side of the room and, and starts perusing titles. I'm going to just start looking books. and I'm going to look through the books that are probably just okay. around where. All right. Well, we were just that. Roll an investigation check for me. Uh, I'm also going to roll one. I'm looking for a book on either like history of the building or lore of like uh, the, some kind of magic and seeing if it's in this library. Okay. So I have found a blank notepad and I'm trying to read it because I rolled a nat one. <laughs> I got a, uh, a 12 for investigation. Okay. All right. Uh, I put back uh, my my book I was actually reading. I try to like slip it into the into the library somewhere and actually start to to scan and, and see if I think if anything is going to help. This is an investigation. Yes. It'd be, Seven. A, it'd be a ten. It'd be a ten. Okay. What was yours, Timmy? Seven. It rolled from an eighteen to a four. I was like, <sighs> oh, okay. Um, so you begin looking, and it takes you. It takes you over an hour. Does anyone even organize the books in this library, right? I found but, one, but I think it has invisible ink in it. There's a book on turtles in world geography. Y'all don't put these back where they're supposed to go, do you? Hey, hey, Timmy, aren't books supposed to have, like, words in them? Normally, yeah. It's kind of how books work. They were just flipping through, like, a, a completely so it blank takes you, it takes you. It takes you over an hour. Um, but... Eventually, um, let's see who who had the twelve. Okay. Not me. Eventually, <laughs> eventually, uh, Big Mike finds a book on um, 
book on uh, family history. Okay. And you pull it down. Do you um, begin to read it? Do you go ahead and share it with the rest of the group? Uh, I read it to myself. Okay. So what you find um, is that this this uh, manor was uh, handed down generationally and, and was part of the Frost family. So this is the name of the family that owned the manor, the Frosts. <coughs> and uh, when you get to... It, it looks like the book was current up to the last owner of at least listing some of the accomplishments of, of the owner as uh, someone of your age or a little older. So, uh, like it was updated by, you know, family scribes or something. And it talks about, um, it talks about uh, young Lord Frost who showed... Uh, some magical abilities and uh, had begun studying in the um, studying in the local school and uh, showed much promise. Uh, but that's about as far as it gets. It doesn't look like it was kept up to date uh, you know, past his early, er, you know, kind of late childhood. So That's studying at what school? He studied, he studied at the local, like, magic school. Okay. Like the one that Timmy <clears throat> attends. Hey, Timmy. Come here. Yeah, boy. On this last part. Is this the same school you go to? Is it the school of sorcery? Yeah. Oh, well, it's the, it's the, the magic school that is present there in the town. So, yes. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, the only school in town that even does magic. The rest are just, like, military or fighting or... Cooking basic sk basic other skills. So, what do you yeah. mean basic? I said cook fighting basic other or skills? basic skills. Yeah, like like other like blacksmithing that can get pretty you, advanced, or like cooking, or you know, you know I'm gonna like learn a way to gut economics. you. Like I'm gonna learn a way to gut you. Like roll a perception check, because uh, at this point, uh, with disadvantage, because at this point you're like intently studying these books. Let's see if you even heard. Uh, this conversation oh, over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm barely. St I have a blank piece of paper. Oh no! Oh <laughs> shit! He's uh, intently uh, looking at that. I rolled that with page. disadvantage. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I got a nat twenty and a nine. Okay. I I actually got a nineteen and a fourteen. Okay. And if that's perception, you said. Yeah. So so you That'd did. Be a sixteen total. Yeah. So you did hear hear the conversation going on over here. So. Um, but go ahead. You know I'll learn to gut you 60 different ways. That's pretty technical to me. That's cool. I could probably already freeze your brain. <laughs> it's it's very it difficult to freeze something that's not there. You're sure right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Got him. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I make it. I make it. I cast thaumaturgy and make it sound like he let out the biggest, like most disgusting fart. <laughs> I cast minor illusion on Timmy and mimic the exact same thing. <laughs> I dispel the minor illusion with my own minor <laughs> Jesus, illusion. I it. cast it again. Wait, you can't. Can you dispel a minor illusion? I can cover your minor illusion. illusion with my own minor illusion. Yeah. How? I I take okay. full you, credit so, for the wait, wait, so hold Do you on, play the hold on. exact opposite so frequency do, so yes. they can't yes. the frequency. No, I would just make it look like my pants over your illusion. I completely so, own the very first No, it's a sound. Uh, I was doing a sound. No, the illusions don't have sound. Wait, I dummy. Minor illusion. Idiot. Don't have sound. <laughs> Minor illusion said so, uh, you can't create sound. a sound. But not if you create an image. It's yeah, you I was create just doing a sound, a sound or an image. Yeah, and I was just doing a sound. Oh, I thought you were just telling me it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm I'm completely gonna own the the okay. fart that right. he, like I'm be like yeah, that was those beans we had last week. Yeah. I knew they he, were coming back. He does back. it a second time, and we all look at Timmy. Timmy's it's like, interesting that it was it me. Sound, but that's 
Um, and I, 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 I actually <laughs> rip one and then turn back yeah. and go, Timmy? Nice. All right, so uh, Philomena is uh, awakened <laughs> because she's fell, fallen asleep at this point, and she's awakened by all the commotion that you're now making. And she says, oh, boys, boys, okay, that's, that's enough for tonight. Uh, d- d- go ahead and go to bed, and, and we'll continue um, this in the morning. So she sends you on your way, and uh, you all head to bed. Um, anything before bed? I have anything I can do. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys go to bed. Uh, you, let's see. It is 11. Do you guys need a quick two-minute break? Yes. Okay. I could, yeah. Two, I two as long as it break. takes the Keurig to put stuff in this. All right, go, go <laughs> refill the drinks, and we'll be right okay. back. So if you're watching, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Real quick.
And we're back. Um, we've got our drinks and our snacks, and we're ready for the second half. So, uh, everyone, we're just going to dive back in. Uh, oh, you know what? We should say hi to Igsley, though. Igsley, what's up? Thank Igsley. you for the raid. Hey, Thanks Igsley. For coming. Um, Igsley, you missed it at the beginning, but just so that you know and everybody else that has joined us yes and everyone else that has joined us we are going to have an upcoming giveaway that's right a giveaway and it is going to be for one painted mini of all of our favorite kabold script yes there he is i love it right there in all of his glory, um, he's got his little uh, his his little leather, and he's got little you know vials on there and stuff. He's a you know apprenticing under Wiltix. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. I kind of want this just so I can use it in our like in person D and D campaign. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I I I just finished that, so they will be. There will be details coming in, coming soon, so. That is awesome. So uh, awesome looking. Yeah. You did such a good job on that. that well, it's more, not gonna the, look nearly as good because I want to actually paint it. Nah, the, the more, yeah, it'll look better. You're absolutely right. But <laughs> okay, the well, more I, I look at it, the more I look at it, the more I can just picture that being. A little script, uh, script, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and the more reason why Thurden doesn't like him. Because he looks so awesome. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> I mean, Thurden is a man of of taste. He does have a pink hat and a very blue cloak. It's true. He was being shown up by the blue dr the blue kobold. So. Um. Yeah. <coughs> Hard to compete with a uh, <laughs> sapphire gem encrusted city. <laughs> yeah. So. That is very true. <clears throat> All right. So, moving on. We wake in the next morning. Uh, Philomena has gotten breakfast ready as the oldest, of course. You're usually, uh, or let me put it this way. Are, do you follow the typical uh, oldest child syndrome of being, you know, the, the last to wake up? Or is somebody an early riser? I'd probably get up early, but I'd wait around for the other boys yeah. to wake up. I'd just probably be chilling there. Just Yeah. And the four so of you a actually share a room. First one that so you have like a, a large room. You each have your own bed and, and chest at the end of the bed and, and nightstand um, there. And, and uh, there's actually uh, two nice big windows greeting you. And, and uh, Philomena or one of the, the yeah. other orphan orphanage workers um, has already come and started a fire in your room. You have a fireplace. He started there. a fire yeah. in my room. In the fireplace. <laughs> in the fireplace. I you know. I would probably wake up a little early too, and I'm just gonna be hanging from like the door frame or somewhere, trying to make myself taller. So we're all just waiting <laughs> on the little wise kid. <laughs> so, so we'll say you all kind of wake up around the same time then. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so, go down, get some breakfast, and uh, Philomena, do you mention anything about what you found the night before? No. Okay. She okay. So Philomena says, "All right, boys. Well, um, uh, you know, off to off to school with you. If um, if you find out anything from your uh, masters, if they have any information about the previous owners or or any reason why they know of why something like this would happen in this house, uh, you know, please let us know." So. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right, we'll walk the nerd to his class before we head off. Philomena hits you and I and says, now, now. Well, we'd hate for somebody to bully him again. I seem to recall the time that he saved you a few times. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it's called a faint, Philomena. I, I was trying to throw people mm -hmm, off. Mm-hmm. All right, move along. Oh, gotta go. You four. <laughs> okay, so you head after uh, school. <clears throat> head on towards uh, 
on towards the uh, School of Magic here in town. And uh, do you actually all go there? Are you going to? And we would probably we would probably want probably Timmy research. over there since mm -hmm. since the three of us <laughs> are going to the same school anyway. Since none yeah. of us cast spells. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So speak for yourself. Some of us can cast spells. <laughs> Be level twenty, still casting my minor illusion. <laughs> Would you like to attack? Uh, I'm gonna cast minor illusion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you get to the school, and you guys are a little early, actually. Um, and. Uh, Timmy, you know that there is um, just inside and in, inside the entrance and off uh, a ways there is um, some of the records of former students, um, and you know that uh, the the clerk who is in charge uh, is a late riser uh, and usually doesn't go to their post in the records room uh, until after several sessions of class have started. So you've got the perfect opportunity to investigate. Uh, great. Excellent. I'm going to take a long rest real quick to reset my spells. Yeah, you go for it. Uh, oh, yeah, I need, to, I need to take a long rest to reset my spells. Too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, need to <laughs> I, I need to take a long rest to reset my two rages. <laughs> I was going to say... <laughs> Yeah, you actually might want a long rest. Um, oh, no one's here. Can I mean, I, you, so can, you could, can you I just could like take the, you could probably, you know, if you wanted, if Timmy would be the kind of kid to like try to get them to help him, you could invite them to help him. Um, or you could just go it by yourself and go try to search for it. I'm is, very is, so is there any staff around? Uh, there's no. staff around, but the they're they're all like towards the other side of the of the school right now. You know, like I said, the the, the clerk who handles all the records and stuff they they don't come in till later in the day. So I'm very proficient in stealth, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I'm gonna can I make an intelligence check to figure out if like the headmaster would sure. come by this way very often? Sure. Six. Cool. Okay. So, uh, you don't, you know, you don't think there's any danger in it. All right, great. Then I'm going to cast a sky self to make myself look like the headmaster. Okay. Uh, and go back behind the clerk's stuff and start looking for. I forgot what the name was. I was building a character when the name was said. Sure. Uh, so you're gonna start looking for um, Frost is the records the on family. Frost. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So roll. Are we, are we still here check. at this point? Uh, did you guys stay with him whenever he? Like, um, unless he asked us, we would have dropped him off and started heading to our school. The door. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you, would you have said anything to me? Or you unless you stay? guys want to stay here and like make a distraction or something, you know, I guess I'll just see y'all later. I mean, all it doesn't have to be like a big. Distraction, we can make a maybe... distraction, and I'm Hold just on. gonna take you off. You want a distraction? I'm taking off. I'm okay. gone. Should have thought of that before. Where are you? I'm gone. Where are you heading? Wait. Other side of the school, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you're running through the school. <laughs> he just yes. says he's gone with no description. I was like, where, place. where are you gone to? <laughs> I'm gone. I'm just gone. Not here. Okay, so are you are you loudly running through the school? Yes. You teeny tiny little. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. I'm following suit. I'm running right behind him. Then I guess. All right. What do yeah, you say? Yeah, Sue's just gonna try to keep up with him because yes. What do you say as no, you are yell, running through the halls of the magic school here? Calling everybody nerds. Do you think it's like a little bit of a of a you know competition? Yeah. Like you're part of the you're part of the like military school <laughs> down the way, and it's like you know that kind of like uh, rivalry kind of. <laughs> does this school have a mascot by any chance? <laughs> so I'm yeah, running. I say it does. I'm running towards the statue. Uh, of their mascot, and my plan is to take it down. And I'm chanting, "Go Bears!" because our mascot's the Bears at the military school. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, Timmy, what's the mascot for the Magic School? Um, it's 
definitely got to be something dumb because we I mean, yeah. bears. I feel like the magic <laughs> school is based on like intelligence. So just for a quick mascot, it'd probably be like an owl. Okay, perfect. So yeah, so there's a stat. It's a snail. An owl. It's a um, snail. <laughs> In fact, it is actually an owlkin, uh, a statue of an owlkin. Um, it's one of the one of the the few famous uh, beings or creatures from this town. Is this uh, magic user who is an owlkin? Um, so, <coughs> uh, it's the statue. Bears! You see, you know, the big owl eyes, but there's like glasses around it too, um, and uh, it's, you know, holding a book, kind of thing. All right, so you're going towards the statue. Three kids just running the hallways screaming, yeah. "Go bears!" Three, three of Go the bears. warriors. Three of the the. Uh, I'm like punching lockers, school. like on my way too, just just to make <laughs> even more ruckus. Just. I'm right. kicking the other side of the hallway. Don't so, whenever uh, we come by. I would say roll your investigation with advantage for your your uh, assist on the <laughs> distraction. You've got plenty of time to look right now. <laughs> Uh, 12. Okay. Uh, you know, it, it takes you probably like, you know, what seems like an eternity to you, Timmy, but it's probably more like five minutes. Uh, <laughs> it takes you to look it up. I mean, you know, they're, they're, it's a magic school. They keep pretty good records. You know, that you look under frost and you see, uh, you find, you know, the, the most recent student under that name. And you see that it was part of the Frost family. And it was, um, let's see. Bunch of nerds. <laughs> Bears rule. Owls <laughs> drool. Boo. <laughs> Kick exactly. it, doors. You're going through. <laughs> yes. Going through. Uh, the, re the three of you... Roll a dexterity. Save you guys have advantage. I a dexterity, dexterity. A dexterity check. We'll say check. Not saving throw. Check. Yeah. Not saving throw. Oh. Not saving throw. Oh. I got a thirteen. Uh, I got a. I got a seven. Fifteen. <laughs> okay. Um. So, you uh you managed to to go you know cause ruckus for a good. 10, 15 minutes, you know, an elderly, um, elderly magic, you know, user professor comes out and is like, listen here, you know, and she's trying to, she's trying to like berate you and you just run by her and <laughs> <laughs> it's like, told, you don't even hear what she's saying. Uh, but then you're like trying now at this point, you're trying to, to get out. You're trying to find a way out. And, um, uh, let's see. So you rolled a seven, you said? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what, what did you roll? Uh, I wrote a third. I wrote a third. Fifteen. Okay. So you guys find a window, and you're like, you know, the two of you are able to fit out of it, no problem. A dwarf and a gnome, but Sue is <laughs> is getting a little stuck, um, and so the two of you are like, outside pulling him, trying to get him through this window. We each have one arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So pull. Pull. We'll, we'll come His back legs to are yeah. flailing in the room. <laughs> Can we roll a strength check to see if we can pull him through? <laughs> yeah, roll a strength check. 19. <laughs> Not as good, but still pretty good. Uh, 18. Okay, yeah. So you get you guys both. Um, you you're you're out the window, right? And and he's kind of stuck. And both of you kind of grab the arm, right? And then you like, you're pulling on his arm so hard that you like put both feet. On the wall. On the wall. And you're both sideways on the wall, pulling, you know, it's pulling upwards to you, you know, pushing against the wall. <laughs> and, and like, you know, Sue's like wriggling, trying to get out. And it like breaks the, the, um, the, the wood molding around the window as he pops out. Nice. And you guys run off. Uh, we bolt off back school. to our school. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um. Timmy, <laughs> you find uh, the most recent injury or entry for uh, young Lord Frost, who was a student there, and uh, you see that there was um, much promise 
However, there was a um, proclivity for uh, he he tried to he tried to dip into uh, kind of some forbidden magics uh, several times to the point where he was reprimanded on multiple occasions. Um, and uh, and so the entries within the school say as much. Um, but he was he was dipping into some dark magic and um, was actually cast out of the school uh, before he completed his training. So uh, you find that you go back. Uh, you're able to, with the distraction, you're able to make your way to class and go throughout class that day, um, having turned back into yourself at some point. Uh, and then you all meet up after school. So early afternoon, uh, you meet up and you tell tell your your fellow brothers in the orphanage what uh, what you found. So seems to me like this frost guy was. I did some research after. Whatever happened this morning. Seems like this frost guy was kind of a troublemaker. So I'm wondering if, like, because he lived here, that somehow there's some sort of magic making it to where, any, like, no one can get gifts. I wonder if nobody can get gifts here. That's lame. Because we've never had him before. Because he was so, so bad? Maybe because he was so bad. So do we need to be, like, so good? Huh. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm always good. Um, lying is not Somehow good. you hear a, ha, ha, good one from the kitchen from Philomena. <laughs> like, I'm like know, the best one here, Philomena. <laughs> you don't hear any response to that part. But you just, <laughs> just it's that like, you know, mom's here all kind of thing that yeah. happens. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, maybe we could be um, good, or like maybe we just brought some good kids in. Maybe like we, that means uh, that means we have to get, get rid of some of you bad kids. So uh -huh. I, I would say, if you want, um, if uh, if you wanted to do any more investigating, uh, you could roll another arc arcana check, or um, or or what do you guys want to do? Do you want to like look around the house? Um, could I? I, while I was doing research in the time that I had in the morning, could I have also done some research on like, because I've already because I already mentioned like dispel magic or something or like how to find traces of magic. I would say with your research, you would could have some you would have advantage on Arcana checks. Okay, great. As you're searching through the house, that's much better. Twenty one. Okay, yeah. So you find um, that while there is no. While there is no like magical items, there that there does seem to be this kind of like very slight underlying magical kind of sense within the house. Um, roll an investigation check with advantage. With that, with that high of a roll. If any, uh, if if one of the one of you wants to to help him, I'd like to help. Too. Seventeen. Okay. You guys ever notice that the floor kind of like feels magical? This whole house yeah. feels no. magical. Feels I don't like have advantage, right? N usually, no. Usually okay. when something's magical, I just like punching it in the face. Mm. I I've never seen a magical floor. I don't think. It tastes funny. Get down there and lick it and see what it tastes like. Soon. Well, if this one's magical, okay. then you have seen a magical floor before. Okay, so you got a 17. Um, Mike, what'd you get? <laughs> I do. Um, a <laughs> strong four. A strong four. Okay, well, you yeah. don't find anything. Um, but, Timmy, you taste. find, after a while of searching, and, and the four of you have, have begun searching the house. It, um, uh I think I think uh, Sue is licking the floors to try to find the taste of them. He said uh, it would it would you, taste magical. You begin searching the house, and, and it doesn't take you too long, and you start getting a strong presence, um, a strong magical presence, 
from uh, the ceiling in one of the rooms. And you notice there is a, a patch of ceiling that is square that looks like it's kind of been like wallpapered over. You know, it's like this fancy, fancy house. It's manor. Um, it's it, it's got like this really nice decorations and stuff. And, and it kind of looks like everything in the house was basically just abandoned. How high um, up is it? Uh, the ceiling is probably just kind of a standard, uh, standard ceiling, maybe, um, you know, 10 feet or so. Um, th there's enough tools and stuff. You'd be able to like find something to, to get up there, but you can kind of see like what you, you know, the, there's little like gaps in, in the paper there. So. Reggie, do you want to, you want to fly again? And get up there. Try to open up that weird look. There's a weird space. You want to try to open that up? I mean, if you if you don't if you don't drop me, I'll look at it. You you want me to put you up there? No, put me no. up there. Immediately grab no. him. Just let me Let's fly. No, no, let no. me fly. No, put me up oh. there. Put me up there. Okay, yeah, you, and I, I grab I grab Mike and pick him up. If you can make me fly, okay. go ahead. So he grabs yeah, Mike, just... picks him up, and then uh, you're making Reggie fly up there. Uh. He said, as yeah, long no, as it's just turned into a race. He said, as long as I don't drop him, so I'm not going to drop him, but I am going to slam him into the roof. <laughs> okay. So it's it's kind of that, wait, 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 you know, nah, nah. Like, <laughs> like you see when people are in like zero G, gra you know, zero uh, I'm going to, I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab hold of the roof and like so climb my way to so that. So you're kind of doing this and, 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 uh, big Mike is on the other side of this square and you're, do you, what do you do? Do you like peel away the paper? It's on, it's on, it's on the roof. It's on the ceiling. I just try. I just yeah. try to like grab the roof and just try to kick it in, like kick in pull, the spot. Pull it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so give me I'm, a strength check, both of you. Oh, that's not good. I'm doing horrible. Uh, I mean, I got, I got a ten. I got a ten too. <laughs> that's that's what you needed. So oh, you're, nice. able to, you're able to. Um, rip away some of this uh, fancy, you know, wallpapering here. Uh, and you see that, that what it actually looks like is um, something that was covering up a, a door, like, uh, like kind of like an attic door. I kicked uh, the attic door. Um, yeah. Neither one, nobody had seen it before. Can I I'm going to try, try before I pry. Does it just open? Uh, Roll an investigation check. I'm just gonna swing both boots into it. That's a Are thirteen. You, okay. Are you standing on the door, like ceiling, like upside down, levitating upside down, kind of thing? Well, I'm like floating. I think I would just like grab it and just like swing okay. and kick with my feet. Roll, roll a strength check with disadvantage. Okay. That's. No, you, you said that magic word again. Yep. <laughs> I gotta make it hard it's... for you. It's not as bad. It was a nat 20 on one, but the other one was, a, you said it was a strength? Yes. So it's a 10 total because I rolled a 5. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, so I rolled a 7. The sorry, two of you five. combined are able to uh, open this this kind of trap door looking thing. And it swings up and around and kind of goes poof, poof, poof. And you kind of see some like dust like floating up. Like probably hasn't been opened in a long time. Can I'm gonna in there? grab onto it and then reach down for uh, um, my brother's hand. I forgot his name now. Sue. Uh, Sue. 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 My name I'm is gonna Sue. reach down I'm for Sue's hand and gonna, say, "Climb up, Sue." I'm and I'm gonna up, like, right. let Sue use me as like one of the climbing ropes. I'm gonna How float tall up are you, in there. Sue? Uh, I'm half orc, so I'm, uh, even at my age, I'm pretty tall, right? I would say like, okay, five, ten, six foot. Okay. Uh, and how tall are you? Um, I don't know. I haven't made that decision. How tall are half elves normally, or gnomes normally? Like I don't know, foot, like two and a half, two, feet. Two and a half three yeah. feet maybe. All right, so it's a reach. Um, mm -hmm. I would say, mm, with for brevity's sake, we'll say that somehow, whether through levitation or climbing your brother or 
Timmy finds a ladder. You all make it up into this <laughs> attic space. He's probably but already wait, yeah, Timmy, for a ladder. There's a ladder like already up ladder there. there. It's like yeah, yeah the, there's a ladder we just had to like put in the opening. I just float in and make yes, fun so. of them for trying to stretch. Um, okay. So we put a hole quick. in the roof. Mom's gonna be so mad. No, <laughs> fine, it was no, already here. Fairly, fairly, no. Real quick, because I spent time on this because why not? There's an owl there. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> you know things are getting serious when an owlbear comes out. Yeah. And I feel like at, at this point, we probably have to add, add the fact that owlbear is not the monster we're about to fight. It is the uh, it's the tool we use. Yes. Um, for, for maps. Oh, owlbear is just showing Whoa. our, our, our lovely at the moment. This is such a cool map. It looks like we're about to, we're It's about so to fight. weird. It's a... That's he a weird to, design for a house. He yeah. didn't want to tell us we're about to fight Skrit. <laughs> weird yes. deja vu. All right. Wait, where'd, you, where'd you guys get the Albert? Never mind, just kidding. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, it? Sue's not the only one that rolled low on intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so here's here's the house. And you actually found this in the upstairs. So there's the downstairs. Uh, which you can see here. Okay. Uh, and you come in and, you know, there's the kitchen over here and bedroom for uh, Philandrel and Philomena and uh, dining areas and study and everything. And then you come over here on the second floor and you have your bedrooms. This is your guys' room here. Sharing, sharing a, a room with a fireplace. And, uh, and yeah, you, f you actually find it in... Um, one of the rooms and you climb up into the attic and you see dun, 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 dun. a ghost a ghost, ghost. the ghost of Ebenezer Scrooge you see nice oh wow oh, oh. Timmy's right. gonna use this room after a while. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> you I should see not have let y'all up here. What looks I should like not let this? <laughs> you see what looks like a some sort of magic user's laboratory. Oh, Timmy, did you know this existed? I didn't know it was up here. If I, listen, if I had known this was up here, I wouldn't have showed you guys. I'm not gonna be honest. <laughs> well, this would have been so cool. Can we break some of this stuff? Please don't break any of this stuff. If you want Christmas presents, I'm I want to find. It. I want to find the closest thing to me and try to throw it at Big Mike. Like just like anything, <laughs> like a a glass vial or something. I, I see you doing this, and I just <laughs> hand you something that is obviously not important. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. I'm just throwing like it a pen. Thing, Mike. I just hand so. you like a pen, a quill. You, you can a quill a, of a quill power or, word kill or or a candle or something. There's, you <laughs> yeah, know, there's, there's yeah and I just I just here. throw it at Mike and then look away. So, all right. Uh, so you see up here, um, books. You know, lining the shelves. You see, um, you know, these this kind of like weird like um, something that looks like a, like a you know planets or a sun or something. You see vials of glass and liquid. You see, like, um, you know, uh, artifacts and, and books and, and a desk and um, all manner of things. Uh, all looks rather, you know, covered in dust. No one's been up here for a while. And it looks to be, um, looks, looks, like, looks like it has been used. Uh, and definitely, like I said, some sort of magic user. Uh, was his, this was his lab. So, is this why we didn't get presents? I think it, so. It could be. I don't know. If, maybe if they like made an anti presence here. Hey, smarty That's pants. Stupid. Why don't you just figure out what's going on here so we can break it? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. But I need y'all to do some searching too, unless you just want to stand around and do nothing like you normally do. I can break stuff. So, that's what I'm. No, yeah. yeah. Should, should we break it? No, that if we break it. it and we break it wrong and we don't stop it, that's one thing. But if we can figure out what it takes to stop uh, it and we break it the right way, then things could be good. 
Does it look like there's a desk somewhere that maybe had like his notes that he was taking at the last time that he was, you know, taking notes or anything like that around? Uh, yeah, the desk. there's so there's um, there's some tables. Yes. And there are uh, there is also a desk. So I'd probably go to the mm, desk. From what I remember, the family history, the last owner just kind of disappeared. Mm-hmm. Is there a body up here? Uh, roll an investigation check. There are four bodies. Is there there potions on the alchemy table? (laughs) Uh, There are some potions. There's some glass bottles. Uh, There are some of those bottles and the little like loops of of uh, glass tubes, you know, and and nothing, you know. There's no flames going, so like nothing, you know. It's not like anything's bubbling or anything, but it looks like, uh, you know, maybe there was some things that had been, you know, going on, and then it was just left. I I begin to just smell everything that I can, like uh, like I'm at a candle (laughs) shop. Perfect. Hey, you should try tasting some of this stuff, Sue. Oh, glue. Okay. And uh, and, and like the, the whichever one's in my hand at that so, time, I take a roll, little sip. Hold on, of. hold on. Roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> roll a- wisdom, you say? Yep. <laughs> uh, that'd be a nine. Okay. <laughs> the overwhelming sense of not disappointing Philomena comes to mind. That was probably like a two a DC. <laughs> I don't think and you, Philomena would like me to do that. She told me to stop eating things. I don't know what they are. <laughs> she doesn't want to have fun. Uh, yes. So <laughs> anyway, uh, were you, what was somebody else rolling in something else? I, Reggie, I while you're desk. Reggie, while you're over the desk, look for anything that says like anti presence or like spell. I know and what this... I'm doing, okay, and I look fine. at the book. I look at the book with no idea what I'm looking for. I'm looking at the other desk that he's not at for clues okay. on things. So both of you guys roll at uh, investigation, and Timmy, you have advantage since you did some kind of research earlier. And I, and I, I, I was predestined to roll a two. Nineteen. Okay, so can um, I look at the glowing star in the middle of the room? So it's not really glowing, but there is that symbol on on the floor. Uh, it looks like it was kind of like, um, it looks like it was kind of like written in sort of like chalk or something. Uh, this kind of like blue phosphorescent like chalk powder, um, and though it is mostly complete, there is like a line through it, like somebody took our hand and like, whoosh, you know, kind of like basically, you know, wiped away part of the, the symbol. Okay. And I try to fix the symbol. Uh, you can, but before you do that, uh, Timmy is there and you find, um, you find a journal and it is of um, the previous owner and he is writing about how it doesn't look good for um, the elders of the town uh, are grumbling and looking to evict him from the house and the town um, and that uh, if if that happens that he will um, Take his revenge on on anyone who moves into this house. So this guy kind of sucks. Whoever this was, uh, apparently he was going to get kicked out of town. So he said, well, "If I can't have it, nobody can." And like curse this place. So I guess we're looking for like an anti curse. Is there say anything in that book over there, Reggie? Uh um yes. um. Yeah. Well, what's it say? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, real quick. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just bring the book oh. I found at the desk over. We have to like Big break Mike. the curse. Big Mike, give me <clears throat> a. Give me a. Another wisdom Arcana check. Arcana check. 
or intelligence? Both is strong suits. Yes, uh, 12. Okay. Uh, Now roll a dexterity save or a dexterity check for me. Well, that's a five. (laughs) Okay. So you, you think that you see the pattern for what this is supposed to look like. But when you kind of draw it out, you, you kind of slip your hand a little bit because uh, there's, you know, a couple pieces of chalk around uh, this like kind of blue phosphorescent chalk. And you just, it just doesn't look quite the way you want it to look. Do you ask for assistance? I want to try again. Okay. Um, try again and... Um, this time it's you know you're trying to do you you're trying to to correct the mistake that you made so okay. a little higher of a dc wow okay uh eight <laughs> okay unfortunately this it still I, just I, I doesn't quite, quite take it still just on the other to get it done and, and so. I, I see my my brother they're like yeah. drawing on the ground i'm like ooh, i, I want a color and, and I kind of sit down beside him. Okay. I don't think Timmy, that's what he's you doing. you hear this and you see what what uh, what he's doing here. So good job on trying to fix the chalk. Please, please don't color. Don't color inside the circle. I think that's an arcana circle. That's kind of important. It would it look really, really pretty in pink. It might look really pretty in pink. Why don't you do that over there in the corner? We'll go ahead and try to make your own away you, from... So the were you trying one. to help complete the circle here? Uh, as yeah. soon as I can get... His character away, uh, yes. I'll hand No, no, I'm chalk. saying it was, was, uh, did you hand the chalk to Sue or were you handing it to Timmy? I'll hand it to Timmy. Okay. So, Timmy, you go over there and you're all kind of standing there while you, you try to fix it. Oh. So, yeah, like, I, I'm going to get, like, in the circle to one of the angles and, like, try to feel, without drawing anything, just try to feel the arc of, like, the outer edge. Okay. And then just turn and like draw that same arc. Okay. And be like, I think you had it close, but you need to just you just do this. If you have a focus point, I'm just like rambling about how to do it while I do it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll a dexterity with advantage because of your arcane training. I mean, I'm not like I'm not I'm not super. <laughs> I don't stress super well, but it's a 13. Okay. Uh, it's so not easy. Like, I think an adult did this. I haven't done this too much before. It's not a large section of it, so you feel like you're able to correct it uh, just enough. And then Sue actually... Um, Reggie, are you standing there watching him at this point? Reginald. Reggie in oh, yes. real Sorry. life too. Sorry. <laughs> real life Sorry. Reggie so, too. So you're kind of standing there watching him at this point. I was point. getting okay. talked to. Sorry. Sorry. Um, yes. So so as he completes it, uh, you see a, a little flash. Okay. And you all are kind of standing there in and around this circle. And all of a sudden, shoop, and all four of you find yourself teleported. Oh, no. Timmy, what'd you do? It's 100% Timmy's fault. <laughs> Timmy. Um, I'm, so, I'm so telling. Lena. I'm so telling. On <laughs> Who are you going to tell right now? We don't even know where we are. When we get you back, <laughs> I'm telling on you. I'll make sure you don't get back. I'm, tell- I'm telling on you, too. But so, I miss- Can you get us back? If I miss no. dinner, I'm going to tell on you. Tell Draw you your little circle thing. You find yourselves in the forest. Um, and you are in front of a what looks like kind of a stone round building. It doesn't look like a tower per se, but it looks like kind of this, like <coughs> maybe the beginnings of a tower. Um, and it's... Uh, there's some kind of steps leading up for it and you're in the snow there outside of it. Um, somebody roll a perception check. I'll roll a perception check. Oh wow, I'm rolling. 
I started I that, off so good. I love that we're rolling so poorly because to me it's just like a bunch of kids trying to figure it out. Well, that is exactly, right? exactly. it. I, I got a 19. And we okay. were rolling great for the snowball, Steve. We, were. we okay. did. We did. I, we with snowballs. Belted each other exactly. <laughs> that is what kids would do. <laughs> the things that kids would be good at. Yeah. Okay, so you find yourself standing there, and Sue, you see. Uh, actually behind you guys. Like, uh, everyone's standing facing this, you know, kind of, like, squat, round building made of stone, uh, covered in, like, snow and, and you know, overgrown uh, plants and stuff. And, Sue, you s hear behind you this, like, crunch, crunch, crunch in the snow. And What's you that? turn in time to see a walking... Snowman who looks pretty angry and somehow has a roar escape from his mouth as he charges you. Uh, I need you guys to roll for initiative. You guys, I'm Robot glad you're going to be good at combat. <laughs> do I get to do, do, do I get to like rage before? Has I seen no. it? He's not quite to you yet. So twenty one. Uh, wow. actually, uh, it'd be a 16. Probably one of my best initiative rolls. I got an 18. Yeah, I'm not used to being I. Dirty yeah. 20. <laughs> are, are you, are you kidding? I, I roll a 16 and I'm still last? Come <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was Reggie? Uh, I had an 18. I didn't roll a 16. I got plus two. And Timmy, what'd you have? Oh, man. Um, 21. Okay. <laughs> It's somehow the wizard rolls, like the, the, All the right. sorcerer rolls on. I mean, so, I roll a natural 20. Yeah, uh, awesome. Yeah. All right, so Timmy, you hear this crunching sound as well. And you turn around and you see this, to you, uh, you know, to, 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 to all of you, this, this snow golem, if you will. This large snowman, not quite massive, uh, but probably about the same size as Sue, uh, rushing forward towards you. Um, what do you do? Charge it. Do we have our weapons? I guess. Great. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll say we'll say that you guys have been, um, you know, after uh, you came back from you know military school, you still kind of had your stuff on you, so. I would pull out my great I, sword and I would charge I, it. Can I have a shield? Nope. No? Okay. I don't remember if Thunderclap originates from me or not. <laughs> I think it does. It should it, say in this five film. foot. Well, it doesn't say if it originates you. It says there's a five foot casting distance, which doesn't seem real. Uh, if it is charging. Yeah. Sue is I, the is the last one behind you guys, and it's it's coming right right at you guys. Uh, yep. I'm just to start. I'm gonna just cast Chill Touch. Chill and Touch. And a ghostly skeletal hand appears in the space of a creature within range. So the space of this deadly snowman. Uh, okay. What does that do? Range spell attack. <clears throat> Yeah, you're right. It's a giant snowman. That's so. a 23. That's okay. it. It was some cold. That hits. Well, you know, That'll when when you build a uh, <laughs> an illusion wizard, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you get. It's not, it's, 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 it is necrotic damage, though. It'll take oh, eight okay. necrotic damage. By the way, can I just say your green screen today is on fire, sir? <laughs> it is so good. I know. It's pretty legit. This is real. Yeah, we all know <laughs> better. There's like a super crisp line on the yeah. side. Of the yep, yep. Um, let's see. I do like I like I probably like kneel or something and do like <gasps> and like like blast whatever. You'll see this bony hand just explode from mine and go flying at this thing and it just there like go. latches on. I don't know if you can see that. What? Uh, oh, the, the lights. I, I see yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, Christmas that's okay. Yeah. 
That's Zoom. Thank you very much. Sorry, distracted. Okay, so <laughs> you uh, you blast it with this uh, spectral hand, uh, doing necrotic damage to this, and you see, um, you know, this this damage kind of kind of hits it and goes through it, and you kind of see some of the snow come off of it, um, but uh, you know, it's it's this big kind of snow creature coming at you. So, um, what? Uh, Mike, you're up next. All right. Uh, how far away is he? Um, he's probably within distance. Um, that you could you could run you could run and get in range of him. Okay. Um, I would like to rage. Okay. Um, and then run at him as I'm doing that. Kind of go to my chest and grab my lucky charm. Um, which is actually um, Sue's little toe that was cut off in one of our escapades. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I'd true. like to attack him uh, with my war pick. What, what is it's this? It's quite, it's quite big on him, though. So. Oh, wow. That's not going to hit. That's, uh, that's an 11. An 11. Okay. Um, so you, let's see. uh, you, you go to swing at him and, and you do, um, not quite get a good swing in at him. And he, uh, the, the war pick just kind of like glances off of him. Yes. I, I've, can I make it reckless? I forgot that I can nope, do that. Too late. Okay. Sorry. That's, that's fine. I just forgot I could. <laughs> yeah. That's something Master I could do next time. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, next we have the snow creature uh, who you beat my eighteen. Huh? So Jeff really was last. <laughs> he rolled a sixteen. Yep. The snow always creature. last on initiative. Yeah. The oh. snow creature beat my 18? Yep, he did. Jeez. Stupid dexterous um, okay. creature. You're going to go, <laughs> and the next is going to be like, some squirrels in the trees go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> then exactly. it's Sue's turn. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So you see the snow creature, this this large snowman. Um, he goes and he takes a, um, a melee attack at... The creature actually you know what he's he's taking two attacks and so he first reaches down scoops up some snow and he chunks it um let's see. he's gonna throw it at uh he's gonna throw it at sue who he was originally trying to go for hit me well, that's a two so snowball <laughs> swings wide um after after that he goes and he makes an attack on you uh, on, on Mike, who just big hit, Mike, who tried to hit him. Big Mike. Big Mike. Um, and and it's a it's a ponderous and slow swing, and he he misses with his large fist. Um, with with that though, he does, um, he does kind of like. It looks like he kind of like stops running and slides through the snow and moves quickly past you, continuing on towards Sue and Timmy. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, you do. You do. Uh, but he, he basically runs past you and makes it right into the middle of the group. I would like to make it reckless if I can. Okay. Can you do that with the reactions? I I know they do in critical role. I don't know if it's if you actual. have made it reckless before. I think you can. If you make if you make a reckless attack as part of your action, it continues as a reaction. But I don't know if you can activate it as a reaction. Since it we'll is say a bonus we'll just a regular attack. Oh, here. okay. I, I don't. 
Y yeah, I was going to say, it, it specifically is when you make your first attack on your turn. So that is really good on the first roll anyways. That is going to be like 22. Okay, yeah, you hit him. And that's going to be uh, eight points of um, piercing damage. All right. Perfect, perfect. Um... So, you okay? Sorry, I had to, to check something real quick. Um, okay, so yeah, you make your piercing attack and and it hits and and. But he kind of, you know, it's like snow, right? So it just kind of goes through him. Takes a chunk of it off, but, you know, he keeps going. Uh, and now he is uh, basically ending his turn right in front of Sue and Timmy and Reggie. Okay. So I think we have next is Reggie. Okay. Uh, seeing that the, uh, he just come at us and he swung it. A big mic and throwing some snow at the, my boy Timmy here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this great sword and just kind of slice right to one of the legs, just trying to knock the leg off here. And that is going okay. to be a 22 to hit. With yeah, that hits. See, I'm picturing like an actual snowman. I just rolled double sixes. I can't do it again. Nice. Okay, that's gonna be. 16 points of damage. All right. Very nice. So you, shoo, sl you know, slice right through the leg and you see the separation of the snow for a second. Um, like if you were to actually cut through a snowman with a sword uh, and it just goes, shoo, and it, so you kind of see it separate, but it's, and there's like almost very little resistance, but it, it just, it just kind of keeps, keeps there. Like he's still standing there. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna back swing. I'm gonna action surge and then back swing and try to take okay. the other leg. All right. Okay, that'll be a dirty twenty. Yeah, that hits. That was not as good. That is eleven. Okay, so yeah, so you swing up this time, coming through one of his arms, and it it like takes a chunk of the arm off there. <laughs> That's for me. That's all I knew. <laughs> you know, carving up a snow a snow sculpture, you know. And I'm going to just stand there laughing at him. <laughs> okay. All right, Sue, it's your turn. All right. And uh, so I have my axe out, seeing that this, uh, it just, it threw a snowball at me. It took a swing at my brother. And uh, and I'm going to yell, I am Sue. How do you do? And, and I would like I, to, I would gosh. like to rage. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, as, as it's sliding into me, I'm going to charge into it and recklessly uh, take a big swing with my great axe. Love it. Um, and that will be a 15. 15 hits. Okay. All right. I'm just going to roll this because I don't know where D12 is. You know that the heels waited that entire time. <laughs> yes, a very long time to be able to say that. Uh, and that will be 11 points of damage. All right. 11 points. Perfect. That was okay. it. I was going to take that big awesome. swing right through the gutter. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So, yeah, he swings and um, you take a big chunk out of it, um, cleaving, cleaving a, a large portion of the snow off of him, uh, off of like his side. So, um, awesome. So, we get to the top of the round, and it is Mike's turn. Mike. Isn't it? It should be, it should be uh, Timmy's turn. Spelly, spelly dude's turn. Timmy, Timmy's turn. Oh, Timmy was first. Sorry, Timmy's first. Yeah. Uh, chill touch. Ayo. 24. Okay. Four more damage. <clears throat> uh, chill touch. Thank you. I was like time? to. Yep. Do you have uh, using a sorcery point for that? It's a cantrip. 
Oh no, it's saying he cast it once. Oh, he was just he was reiterating what he oh, had okay. yeah. He oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Although he thought you he thought you cast it twice in that one turn. <laughs> I did. I yeah. Did. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, he can spend a disbar. He's able to do half a spell's level. One for character target a second creature within range with the same spell. Is that twinning? Can I target the same spell? Can I target the same creature twice? We'll say no because it's it's meant to split to two different creatures. Okay. So. Nope. I only cast it once. Okay. <clears throat> but you don't use the sorcery point. Correct. Okay. Awesome. So, uh, anything else? Do you back away? Do you? Uh, He's I'm right actually in your face right now. Yeah, I'm trying to like goad it a little bit. Okay. Uh, so you start to back away, and he are you gonna try to get it out of its range? No, I'm trying to get like in its face. Oh, okay. Um, like, surprisingly enough, I'm like, come on, I want you to hit me. Do okay, it. Yeah. So you're there. You're shouting at him. Okay. Uh, all right. That would be Mike's turn now. I want to attempt, I'm going to run at him again, and I'm going to attempt a grapple. Okay. Hey. So I'm raging, so I have advantage. Um, not great. It's athletics, right? Yes. So that is, oh, I guess it's okay. It's, it was 12, but, uh, 16 with the athletics. Okay. So you go up to it and you like ugh, try to lock your arms around it. And you don't even really get around a leg. Um, and, and he kind of like takes the step back with that leg and, and breaks out of your grip. Your, your hands just kind of like slip off of it and almost numb from the cold of the snow. Okay. All right. So it is now the creature's turn. Oh, no. And, um, let's see. So it takes a breath. And then you in a cone in front of it. And it's gonna get um, it's gonna get Timmy and well it's gonna get the three of the three of you that are still in front of it, basically. At one point uh, can I, I need use you my all reaction. Uh, you can use it now if you want to. Hell is Rebuke, second level. Okay. Um, before you do that, I will, I will yes. get that damage from yes. the momentarily. Um, but I need all of you to, or the three of you, to roll a constitution saving throw. 24. Uh, 19. 19. 18, sorry. 18. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I have good constitution. I have a plus five to constitution. Nah, I do too. Plus yep. zero, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Just rolled really well. <laughs> I, ro I rolled a 19. So. I, ro I rolled a 13. <laughs> I was hoping he said constitution. I, I literally have a plus five in strength, plus five in con, plus two in dex, zero in everything else. Oh, okay. I, I didn't so, zero everything else, but I don't feel negatives. You all take. I gotta do my math. Maybe this is why he asked how many hit points we have, guys, beforehand. He's gonna kill us in one shot. You all take 14 points of cold damage. Oh, oh my gosh, have we not. I'm glad I succeeded. Right. Yep. Same, because I'd be dead. We, yeah, I would too. All right. Um, Dude would never get to avenge his father. But that is the end of its turn. <laughs> Oh, it's rebuke. It takes 3d10. Uh, it needs to make dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw? I believe so. Okay. Dex of 13 or higher. It's a 16. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> I like. I like. <gasps> He's got a plus 15 to his dex rolls, but. Anything? Uh, does it take half damage or anything? Nothing. Uh, 
Half as much on a successful one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 11, so it'd be five damage. Okay. So you, you blast it with this hellish rebuke and, and you see more bits of it start to fall off. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 you know, it's looking hurt. It is now Reginald's turn. And I'm just gonna thrust out my great sword right into the belly of this thing. Okay. That is a 70 plus a 22 again. 22? Okay, yeah, that hits. And that is 9 plus 3, 12 points of damage. Okay. And then as soon as I, like, I shove it into its gut and then I withdraw it, and then I'm just going to... Wipe my brow and with my bonus action, I'm going to take second wind. Okay, and heal yourself. <laughs> and get eight points of health back. All right, that's my turn. All right. Uh, Sue, it was your turn. Yeah, I take the icy damage and I. Ah! And I swing again with the big great axe. All right, uh, let's have it. Recklessly. Let's have it. Goodness. Uh, that would be 17 plus 5. That hits. All right. Oh, yeah. That would be a big 7 points of damage. All right, 7 points. You see it come, come through, and uh, you, you know, take a big swath of one of the arms off with it. Starting to look a little unbalanced. <laughs> We're just chunking it up. A couple yeah. great axes and a great sword and this icy hand that just keeps coming out touching it. <laughs> yeah, if I uh, if I didn't attack recklessly, that would have been in that one. <laughs> oh, All right, uh, Timmy, your turn. Well, guys, it's about that time. I'm like visibly hurt pretty decently bad okay. and uh, y'all have seen this before I'm, I do some sort of hand motion uh, I'm gonna cast Expedious Retreat on myself Okay. as my action I can't disengage right now but I am just gonna go ahead and dash away as my bonus action okay uh, he is gonna try to take a, a attack of opportunity on you yep I can't just stand here but you know what? He's ponderously slow just, and just misses you. I feel like that was actually a 19, but I'll take it. <laughs> I, I am I am 60 it was feet. A three. It was a three. I'm within 60 feet away okay. uh, behind a tree somewhere. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to attack him. Reckless. Okay, reckless, reckless attack. Let's have it. Oh, 19. 19 for the first hits. roll. Uh, so it was going to be 23. Um, and I did 1d8. And that is uh, 6 damage. And I'm going to do 2 weapon fighting. And so I don't add the strength so you don't to have the a damage. So do you have a second? Okay, so which which weapon was that? The war pick, and I have a hand axe. Okay, so yeah, so you don't get the the bo you get the bonus to hit, but not on the damage. Okay. Um, and it was reckless. Okay. Um, neither of them were good. The uh, thirteen. Okay. Thirteen misses. <laughs> yeah. It just neither one of them off were of good. It. Yeah. So. It was a nine and a nat one. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I only got plus four. Okay. All right. Not plus five like some of y'all. So once again, uh, you're beating away at it. It's getting hurt. Um, but it turns around and it goes to uh, make a 
uh, slamming attack against um, probably against the largest target here, Sue. <laughs> Big Mike, oh, yeah. me? Bring it! Where do you think I got the nickname Big Mike? <laughs> okay, so that would be a 20. A cereal box? That's you know, it uh, it just hits. Okay. Just, just hits. What did it hit? What did he roll? 20 something. Oh, yeah, no. he That was like met his armor class, actually. Uh, so that just, is just five points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, I have and a resistance to that. So three points. Okay. And That's then. No, no end then. Uh, two points of cold damage. Oof. Whatever resistance to that. <laughs> you might have if we were level three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I could. I could. Uh, but unfortunately, right now, I do not. What level? Oh, we were level three. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> what a smarty. The so Colin should be dead. Yeah. Because he has that Timmy's, extra. Timmy's cheating <laughs> at the game. D8. He has that extra D8 of health. Timmy's a little older. I think he's got D6. I'm not going to lie. It is All D6. Right. It's yeah. a D6. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. hurting right now. Um, okay. He's going to make another slam attack at you. Me? Yep. Uh, it's a uh, 19. I really angered this guy. You know, that, that hits too. What are you at right now, Sue? Uh, six. So that would be six. eight points of bludgeon damage, halved. So half. Yeah, Ooh, four. So four. Uh -huh. And three points of cold damage. So uh, I, would be, I would be down, but because I'm a half orc, um, I, <laughs> I go to one. Uh, I have relentless endurance. Amazing. Nice. I love it. <laughs> so, Golly. Uh, so I'm still up, but uh, not by late. much. All right. Well, that's the end of the golem's turn. So, <clears throat> all right. It is uh, It is now it Reggie's turn. turn. I'm going to try to slice the other arm that's not been knocked off with my great sword. Let's, uh, let's have it. That is a 15. 15 hits. Ho, 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 yeah. Oh, I get to reroll both those because they're ones. That is nine plus three, 12. Okay. All right, so you <laughs> lop off its arm and it sinks to one knee, but it's kind of still up. Um, Sue. It's your turn. True, true to my lore, I'm now going to draw my gun. Um, <laughs> that's how the song. Okay. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> All nice. right. And, and I'm still oh, raging. Right. I'm going to take another swing with the great axe. Okay. Uh, hurting and cold. Uh, <laughs> uh, recklessly attack. All right. Let's have it. You know that's probably why he's hitting you is because he gets advantage when he's when he hits you after that, right? I'm I'm, I'm aware. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that's a that's gonna be a ten, with a with a plus five. With oh, advantage. No. <laughs> huh? with, advantage? with advantage. With advantage. I rolled a five and a two. Okay, so oh my god, you swing and you and he, as he you kind of miss as he basically falls to one knee. You you go to cleave his head off, but he he doesn't get it there. So. Uh, Timmy, it is now your turn. Uh, no. Chill touch. Chill touch. Okay. <laughs> chill touch. Roll for attack. Uh, chill touch. Just chill touch. All right. Hey, that's another 24. That <laughs> hits. How do you How do you destroy this golem creature? Yeah! With, with three more points yes. of damage. That's the second thing I've gotten to kill tonight. This is great. Uh, I could have taken its head off if I did not roll a five. You would have taken it off. It would have been a clean oh. cleave. Uh, as mm -hmm. as okay. you swing through, you just see, like it kind of it, it like it like falls down to one knee, and you mm -hmm. swing over its head, and you think you you probably think you've hit it, and then a skeleton hand just comes and grabs and like, like takes it off into the distance. 
<laughs> so you, even though yeah. I swung to the left, it flies off to the right. And I'm hoping <laughs> that you're confused. Yes. And I'm like, I made it disappear. <laughs> you're so a magician too, Sue. <laughs> I have uh, a magic axe. <laughs> <laughs> so with that combat comes I got a to magic a close. rake. Uh, yes. yes. So I would <clears throat> I'd like to drop my rage and I'm going to cast a spell on uh Sue and you can see his wounds start to heal. Um, I'm fine. I do an investigation check on it and it's just minor illusion but Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm healing myself. I was like, wait, what kind of barbarian did you just make? <laughs> Seth is so done with you right now. <laughs> it's like, gnomes no longer get minor even, illusion. Even, even Seth was like, how do you have what? a healing oh. cantrip? No, I knew <sighs> when he said his wounds appear to heal. I didn't know what Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm still convinced I made the snowman disappear and I'm healing myself. Okay, perfect. I, I'm pretty sure I'm a sorcerer now. Yeah. Uh, so you stand there, and as you stand there, you are, are facing this door, and you hear this latch of the door. It opens up, and there's an uh, older gentleman, about the same age as uh, Philandro, or maybe a little older. And he says... Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Reggie, and we I don't want know. my presents back. You're the guy. We're the kids you stole our presents from. You bamped us out here. He kind of gives you a humph. Well, get in here. It's too cold for you to be standing around. Is your name Frost? He goes, bah. And he just turns around. He leaves the door open, but he turns around and goes inside. I go inside. All right, I, I let my rage end. I put my axe back on my back. All right. So you walk I'll in. I limp into there. <clears throat> you walk <laughs> into this. Uh... I am unscathed. <laughs> I am not. Uh, yes, there is a cat. Also not. <laughs> so you walk in, and this tower, or beginnings of a tower, uh has very similar items to what you saw in the in the attic there are there are um, the vials and papers and and all of this here is is bubbling and and there's you know brewing and and there's a cauldron in the corner and you see um, you know you see a a, a, a you know, makeshift bed, and there's, um, you know, like there is a, a cat wandering around, and lots of books and everything, and a fireplace in one, one side, and you see symbols on the floor in the middle on this kind of raised chamber. And he says, "You." So you see him, uh, this older gentleman over here, and he's, he's over in the corner, uh, at this table, looking at some, some different things. And he says. So, you are the, you are the, the brats living in the house? We're not brats, per se. I mean... I mean, yeah, it's really cool to call orphans brats. I mean, Sue's a brat, but I'm not. I'm really good. Hey, he's not good at all. <clears throat> we just took your orphans, huh? snowman on unscathed. We didn't even take any damage. Oh. We'll take you, too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway. kind of gives you a, a, a glance over. and the, He the bumped house, into huh? me once or twice. I'm looking up at him also. The house has been turned into an orphanage, and we're all orphans that live there. And the two people that take care of us, they're really nice. They're, their names are Phil and Phil, and, 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 and they're really nice to us. And you were mean and took our presents away. Hmm. Well, serves you right. And anyone who <gasps> lives in that house, after having me kicked out? I don't even know who you are. We didn't have you kicked out. Oh, you yeah, may no. not. But everyone in that town, that town kicked me out. I don't think Phil well, and Everyone Phil kicked, kicked us out. out. That's how we ended up there. Yeah, we were kicked out of our own families in a way. Yeah. 
Roll a persuasion check. Shoot. Intimidation? Nope. Persuasion. I don't need it. I Ooh. don't Wait. need it. A disadvantage. Wait, no. Don't say that. Because I, no, I, I didn't the, say I, that. Reborn, just roll, okay. roll a straight. <laughs> I rolled a 19. I knew you weren't going to say disadvantage because I didn't roll an at 20. It's a okay, 19. Right. I don't get any... I don't get any... You see with the mention of you saying that you were kicked out of your families. You see him soften just a little bit. But he kind of he turns back and he's continuing to work on his stuff. He says, So Philandro took over the house? Y yes, and they do they do a lot of good there. Like, it's not just about us. You know, us four, we're the oldest, but there's a lot of other little kids and, and they, it would have really made their lives super happy if they had gotten a gift and it just disappeared. It turned into coal. Yeah, this and was now, also like the first time we've ever gotten gifts. Yeah, now I mean, yeah. you know, so we're works, older then. and much more mature. Um, hmm, and so yes. we're not really worried like the babies about the gifts, but you know, I mean, it's kind of mean to take the gifts away from them. I mean, we didn't yeah. before, <clears throat> before we went to the orphanage, it was just me and my brother, <clears throat> yeah. And uh, Their brothers, now, by the way, with Phil, we have uh. A much bigger family. Yeah. Yeah. A much bigger family. <laughs> yeah. We're like, we're like family. Hmm. Mm, family doesn't always mean everything. But it, I was part but of the, a family once. But it's the family we chose. Yeah, we get to choose this family, and I think these guys are okay most of the time, except for Timmy. He's he's kind of a nerd, but. But anyway, he's like I like nerd. Timmy. He's like our nerd. Thank you. And like he helped us find this place. And then he drew your circle and, and Sue was coloring it in. And then BAM, here we are. Hmm. It so, looked I mean, really good in pink. It, it um, was kinda cool. Roll another persuasion check. Oh Lord, I don't T think I Timmy, you roll it this time. Oh, oh okay. boy. Yeah, Timmy, you do it. Anyway, with a plus three to charisma, but I'm gonna hey, it's a ten. Didn't roll as bad as I thought it would. Ten? Yeah. Okay. He kind of looks at you and says, So, you were able to complete the circle in the my laboratory? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't easy, but it wasn't that hard. Hmm. Yeah. How old are you, boy? Uh, like, four, 14? Mm -hmm. Mm. Like 14. Impressive. I was in the middle of drawing that circle whenever they came for me and kicked me out. But I ended up here no matter. But uh, it, it definitely would not have been there had I left on my own accord. What, so what Philandro married that... So Philandro married that uh, girlfriend, to, yeah, did, did he? And yeah, he's taking care yeah. of orphans in the house. Yep, yep. How old are we actually? Hold on. We're easy. He's ever like 14 to 16, somewhere in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, well, I mean, yeah, he's he's welcomed a lot of us in, and he's yeah. doing the best he can. And, and, and by no means are they living, like, well off. They'd probably be a lot better off if they didn't have all of us to look after. But instead... They do have all of us to look after, and they're making sure we go to school and get an education, and and that's how we took care of your guy out there, um, which he yeah. was really unpleasant. You really need to get your doorman some manners, but yeah. well, he is there to prevent people from bothering me. Well, I mean, we're just we're just kids, though. I mean, think of the accidents that could happen if he had hurt one of us. Mm, yes, well, think of the insurance well, lawsuit. No one should have found that yeah. circle. And now that you've right. used it, it's just no longer there. Okay, how do how it? do we get back? How do I don't I don't like it here really. 
I mean, this place is pretty cool. I could send you back, but why should I help Very you? Very cool. Why would I need... You should... Well, we would have to stay here if you didn't. And Listen. Do you want to take care of orphans? <laughs> yeah, we can stay here. That's a, a actually you have a lot of cool stuff right there. Heels roll. Yeah. You have a lot of cool stuff. And I immediately start picking success. up his potions and smelling them. He says, "Don't, don't do that." Uh, roll a persuasion, Jake. <laughs> um, so you said that was a cat there? Oh, it's uh, good. Roll. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a seventeen. Um. Okay. I am going to go to the cat. And mm -hmm. I'm going to communicate simple ideas that we are mad at Jack Frost over here. I hope his first name is Jack, at least. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that we're mad at Jack Frost over here and see if I can get the cast to start, like, hissing at him. Because that is one of my gnome abilities. One more okay. Time. I really looked in the race more. <laughs> <laughs> I just went with gnome. I, like, I... When we started the game, I like went through and looked at my gnome stuff. I mean, um, me being a half orc kept me alive right now. It's the only way I'm standing here. So what what do you trying to impress upon the cat? Just that you're mad, or yeah, or we are unhappy, okay. dissatisfied. Okay. Okay. Um. So you see this older man whom you take to be uh, the former Lord Frost say uh, you know after, after initially being like don't don't touch that these things are dangerous look you should not have found me here and you must go back well but I don't. We'll I don't exactly have a warm welcome, and taking you back into town may, wouldn't exactly be easy for me. Would you? Uh, well, why not? But what, what if you returned for orphans or lost, sad little orphans who are just trying to fix their? I'm presence. badly hurt. And well, I mean, that might not look hero. so great. Bro, uh. Mike, roll, roll persuasion. Uh, that is a uh, okay. There it is. Uh, that's a a fourteen. Okay. So he So he looks at you all. Kind of thinks for a second. He says Fine. I will take you back. But I'm not promising anything with the presents. Well, you're kind of like an orphan yourself, right? Because everybody's kind of kicked you out and doesn't want you. So why I don't suppose you, just, you could say that. Why, why don't you just why don't you just join our little happy family? The family we chose. You can be like the the really big brother to us. Yeah, and then you can help me pick on them. Yeah. Well, maybe not that, but but you I'm the big like brother. I'm older than big. all of y'all. He actually but, kind of chuckles at, at Timmy's comment there. But you <laughs> could it would be really cool and then you could show the people that maybe they were wrong that maybe you were a good guy and then You like snowball fights? And yeah, you could have snowball fights. Have you ever been in a snowball fight? I'm really good at throwing snowballs. And I'm pretty sure with good. the way that you put that giant guy together, he'd probably be pretty good at throwing snowballs too. So you could bring him too. And he I don't want to throw snowballs with him. I want to throw snowballs against him. And I think that we could have a lot of fun. And then maybe the town folk will see that they made a mistake and that you're really cool and that you help us too. And they would look at you in a good way, the same way they look at Phil, because he helps us. Hmm. All right. 
roll one more persuasion with advantage. Oh, two. Please roll higher than a 15. <laughs> oh, oh, I rolled a down one on the first one. Okay, that's a 19. I don't know if I persuasion. I don't have okay. any modifiers, so it's, it's a 19. All right. Thank you for the, the advantage. <laughs> yeah. I rolled a down says- one on my first roll. Well, it was it was a cumulative effort, so okay. Um, it's been a you know ongoing conversation. You guys have talked to him about family, talked to him about joining your family, um, and you you see him consider. He says, "You can, you can bring the cat too." Yeah, I like the cat. Do you suppose they would even take me back into the city? Well, I was kicked out a long time ago for childish mistakes. If they oh, we can tell you if about they childish mistakes. They were still worried mistakes. about those. They would have kicked Reggie out a long time ago. Yeah, guess what we just did? We ran through a school. Well, my childish and mistakes screamed. were still done as an adult. And I. Uh, it was. <laughs> can I press the digitation? Another loud fart from Reggie. <laughs> you can, yes. Wait. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna laugh at it. <laughs> Listen. He says Listen. It's, it's Christmas. It's the time of year for second chances. Yeah, I think they'll like you. I already like you. You seem cool. Yeah. And, and if they won't take you back, we'll force them to. And I'll yeah. try to intimidate. Yeah, I don't know who I'm I'm intimidating nothing. You're just like you're like, like yeah. it's like a demonstration of intimidation. I'm yes. Not at him, but just like, yeah, yes. we're intimidating, yeah. And it and doesn't matter if they don't take you back, you're part of our family, not theirs. You see him uh soften a little bit. And he says hmm. For having just met me, you all show incredible heart and kindness. It's we not know something I've seen in a lost. long time. Hey, orphans stick together. That's right. Come, let's return to the manor. Yeah. And he and, uh, really cold. And, points and to the a, other uh, fill will make us some good food. He goes. He goes over to the central uh, platform there. And, draws out uh, a very similar looking circle. Not quite the same, but similar. And he says, all right, everybody step in as soon as you see it start to glow. And he finishes it and you see this starts to kind of starts Reggie to glow. Reggie just runs in. Yep. Okay. <laughs> everybody steps in and <laughs> you're flashing there and you're in front of the manor. Whoa. Can you do that again? But mm. like I could, but that is like now. the coolest ride I've ever been on. We're definitely gonna have to do that again. So actually, he, I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> <laughs> he says, and I, I throw up just a little to the. Right. Uh, he points you towards the front door. I wipe you the throw up, up off my head. As you as you reach it, it actually opens up, and uh, Philandril and Philomena are standing there, and they're so, what. What's going on? We brought friends for dinner. Yeah. And they kind of look at you all and look at uh, this old magician. I say old. He's, again, about about their age. And they say, is this true, Jack? Did you bring them back? He saved us. Yes, I did. Yes. We were lost. I was badly hurt. Damn. Still, yeah, still, still and and, and there was a giant snowman that attacked Sue, but it's okay now. <laughs> Let's go eat. I, just, I beat just, it up. Just like it, nothing happened. Should have seen me, mom. Was swinging. Yeah. Uh, he says, "Look." Sue looks like unhurt right now. <laughs> when I left, I really feel hurt. So F- Philomena is uh, there, and she's you know kind of doting on you all, and she kind of like you know. Pulls you in, starts to pull you inside, and um, you know Jack, uh, you know is just kind of standing there. I'm gonna go back and and, and grab him by the wrist and kind of just like pull him in out of the cold. He kind of kind of 
hesitates, but then he lets you start to guide him in. And uh, come on, the food's Philandrel gonna steps cold. up and he says, "Jack, I'm sorry for what they did to you, and I'm happy that you're back." See? Yeah, he's an orphan too. Jack says, "Philandrel." Brother, it's it's good to see you again. Brother. And they That's embrace good. one another. <clears throat> Here, Philomena. As soon as uh, I get softed, I pick up my of, brother. As she's yeah, kind of like pushing you in. Philandrel takes a step back and he says, Come inside, brother. And join us. For Just our Christmas feast is a about ready. Um, I don't, I don't know what you did in the past, but it's forgiven. It's just good to have you back. And Lord, former Lord of the the Manor, uh, Philandrel's older brother. You can kind of see the resemblance now. Says, ah, when I left, I was. I was angry, Phil, and I did. I did put a curse on the on the house. There wouldn't be joy or presence again. But seeing it now and seeing you and these these young young kids have such heart. I'll 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 get it removed. And he starts to weave a spell and magic and you see this kind of blue energy release from his hands and you hear this kind of just kind of disappear dissipates but it kind of like dissipates and like kind of like goes forward and you kind of just kind of see it like go towards all areas of the of the grounds of the manor <coughs> as you begin to walk inside you hear laughter and joy and the curse that was removed um, returned the lumps of coal to their original forms and you see the children laughing and ripping open presents as uh, Philomena is bringing food out to the table and uh, lighting candles and a joyous occasion a joyous Christmas celebration happens. And you see this group of orphans and, and reunited family coming back together in the perfect picture of redemption and unification on this special Christmas Eve. And the door closes on our adventure with laughing and happy sounds of conversation. And that's where we're in tonight's episode. No. Right. What a good, what awesome. a good yeah, that shot. Nice. Awesome. Nothing conversation and one last, uh, what is it called? One last spell fart for Reggie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With, and the, the whole room erupts in laughter, yes. Uh, My G owns awesome. it. Hey, well, <laughs> guys, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. I know we went that a little bit fun. later. Ah. So for those that, that were here and had to leave, if you're watching the VOD to finish up, I apologize. Thank you for sticking around. If you did stick around. Um, but, uh, you know, it was a one shot. We kind of had to get through that. So, uh, But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, that was uh, set up to be the one shot by DN Discussions. Uh, podcast you should go check them out amazing group um, one of them uh, was in here we had uh, TBK Zord is one of the guys on the podcast and uh, awesome. stuck around for most nice. of it so thank you uh, Ryan his name is Ryan thanks for sticking around and uh, Ben if you ever check it out hope you enjoyed it as well um, and uh, looking forward to uh, hearing hearing more hearing what you thought so yeah, and thank you guys for, for making that. That was so much fun. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. That was awesome. So that was a lot of fun. Um, well, that's, that's an awesome si- story too. Yeah, absolutely. It was great. Well, f- for signing off, uh, my name is Seth, also known as White Fox SG on Twitter and Twitch. Um, you can hit, follow me there. Uh, we have Reborn below me here. Uh, what what would you? I'm sometimes here you? on Twitch and then also on Twitter. Same handle, Reborn Crusader. Awesome. And uh, Heels, where can the people find you? I mean, right here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dr. Hills. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, also, you can find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash that bold life, and youtube.com slash Dr. Hills. I promise I'm trying to speed it up, but I have a lot to say there. <laughs> That's a lot. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Noah. Um, you can find me uh, on Instagram at Noah Drew Mathis, So That's about it. Uh, I've been thinking about posting sometimes this month, and so that would uh, increase my total post a year and by two. <laughs> So, nice. double, yeah. we'll double it. Yeah, double it. So you know you can keep up with me on there. I like Set it. Bar high for twenty twenty two. Mhm. I like it. I like it. Awesome. Assuming I'm the last one. I'm on Instagram at Colin Kelsey and Twitter at Colin Kelsey two. That's fantastic, it. fantastic, Colin. Thank you, and uh, once again, thank you for joining us here on Hearth and Hammer. Uh, we are a family friendly D and D show and we look forward to seeing you all in the new year. Um, we may have one more. We'll see what happens next week in between Christmas and new years. We may take a break, but we'll see. Um, until then, until we see you next time, Merry Christmas, happy new year. We love you guys. God bless. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes.